Oklahoma will move right to left in front of us here in quarter number one. That means backs to the south end zone. Houston's Jack Martin to kick it away. An SEC Big 12 showdown. Saturday night under the Palace Lights. Oklahoma and Houston. Here we go. Jack Martin steps it off. Billy Bowman deep to receive alongside Gavin Sawchuk. Martin, the kicker, encouraging his team to spread out a little more, he says. Points left, points right. Headed toward the football, toe to leather, and we are underway. It is a high end over end kick that will come down five yards deep in the end zone. On the first O in Oklahoma, Billy Bowman takes a knee, and the Sooners will start at the 25. Well, OU took the opening drive for a touchdown last week against Temple. Let's see what they can do here tonight. Before this opening drive, let's quickly pause 10 seconds for ID. This is Sooner Football from Learfield. Gavin Sawchunk, the running back, double tight end set. First snap of the game is a pitch jet sweep to Dion Burks, and it's blown up for a loss. Burks going left to right, met as soon as he got the football by Keith Cooper, all the way back at the 19-yard line, a six-yard loss. Well, they were sitting on that one. Uh, they, I don't know what that stunt was. They ran up front, but unblocked, came right up the middle, and looked like they were anticipating that play. I can explain it here in a little bit. In motion, Bauer sharp. It is a handoff to Gavin Sanchuk that gets a yard, and that's it from the 19 to the 20. And after going just 1 of 12 on third downs a week ago, the Sooners' first third down tonight will be a third and 15. And this is the trend that we've seen over the last couple of years. You know, until, until we get people out of it, they're just going to crowd the line of scrimmage on us until we start pushing the ball down the field. And Houston's coming out right out of the gate doing it. Now they're going to drop eight, it looks like. Freshman speedster Zion Reagans into the game. Back to pass. Arnold steps up, throws late near side. Short catch caught by Bauer Sharp, who flips his way back to the original line of scrimmage, the 25. But he's tackled there, and the Sooner offense goes three and out on their first try. Boy, it's tough whenever you take a massive loss on the first play from scrimmage. And I think that's how we started the game last week, right? But we got some good positive yards out off of it, and we're able to take the deep shot to Farouk on the next play. Luke Elzinga's first attempt of the night. The punter, Makai Muse, Georgia transfer, deep to receive. He stands on his own 26. Just over a minute and a half into the game here. Awaiting the snap, and now it's back. Elzinga, left-footed kick is a high-spiraling, nice. driving kick. Backing Muse, inside his 20, he touched it, but it bangs off of him and rolls oh, down the sidelines. Pick it up, the Sooners dive on it, it's a 10. I think he touched it. Let's see the ruling. That's yeah, right. it's Sooner ball! A muffed punt by Makai Muse. I'm sure we'll look at this again. It almost rolled out of bounds, but it stopped about a yard shy of the sideline, and Oklahoma jumped on it. I think, was it Jacoby Johnson that, that didn't know? I don't think he must have seen it. The ball was touched by the receiving team, recovered by the kicking team. It'll be first down. Okay. It's Lewis Carter that jumped on the football. We got fortunate there that, you know, Jacoby Johnson, it's hard. You can't hardly blame him. Sometimes you just don't see it, but... And he's trying to let that ball run out to get as much most yardage as possible. Uh, it's good that we saw some guys on the back end saw that touch and came in and piled on it. I, I assume this one's going to get reviewed. I will say the returner did not act like a guy that's on the field as the ball was touched by the receiving as team. I saw it there on the, the kicking team. Jumbotron, it wasn't a fair review. In I, live action, it sure looked like it. it. It happened right in front of me, and that he could not have acted acted calmer which usually is an indicator that he didn't touch it but we'll see oh no well right there it doesn't look like he touched it what they're showing in the stadium yeah the it, ball doesn't it, seem what about to, his right hand off the bounce right there yeah like his right it doesn't thumb. look like the spin of the ball changes any but reminder call on the field is OU ball and that he did touch it. So you need conclusive evidence that he didn't. 
Toby, I'm glad you said that because that was one of the points during, and I understand we have Big 12 officials tonight, but that was one of the points the SEC hammered home during SEC media days. The reviews have to be beyond a, beyond a reasonable doubt, if you will, uh, with evidence that truly overrides what happened on the field. The initial call on the field is presumed to be the right call in a situation like this. I don't think he touched it. I don't but either. I don't know if you can conclusively prove he did. Uh, it's wild, though, that how, you know, 80,000 and the official right there on the sideline were absolutely sure it did. <laughs> After and review, the ruling on the field stands. Wow. First down, Oklahoma. Wow. Well, that means OU gets the ball at the 10-yard line, and for the second straight week, Lewis Carter makes a play in special teams. He forced the fumble last week that led to the... Jared Canick touchdown, and now OU's got it first and goal at the 10-yard line. Quickly one turnover. Four wide receivers set against Sawchuck on the right hip of Arnold. In motion, sharp. There's the snap. Play action. Throw, slant, caught, goal line, touchdown! Brennan Thompson! First touchdown of the season for Brennan Thompson. And Oklahoma off the muffed punt is in the end zone. They strike first. Well, there you go. Like on Series 1, you've got Houston piled in there to the box to stop the run. And great job by Jackson Arnold. Reads that, that heavy defense, pulls it out late, and throws a beautiful ball into Brennan Thompson, who not an easy catch there, but... Great job by Brendan Thompson. Nice execution. Tyler Keltner, your SEC Special Teams Player of the Week, on for the extra point try. It is up and good. And with 12.59 to go first quarter, it's 7-0 OU. Touchdowns brought to you by Air Comfort Solutions. Air Comfort Solutions, your total home solution for plumbing, heating, air conditioning, and electrical. Make the winning call today. Today's broadcast brought to you by Coca-Cola. Crisp, refreshing, and irresistibly tasting. Is Coke Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Try and decide. The Ponies run for the first time after a touchdown tonight. First four offensive plays, and the Sooners up, T-Row 7-0. Got to give some credit to Ted to Luke Elzinga. That was a great pun, and it drove Muse back, kind of discombobulated him a bit. No, I, I agree, and I don't know, I guess into the wind a little bit, maybe, and it be interesting to watch where this kickoff ends up, but yeah, absolutely. He's He's been really solid, and uh, should be a weapon for us. Ted, yeah, you're right. It is to a, into a fairly light wind, but it made a difference. Ryan Massey deep to receive for Houston. There's the kickoff. It's returnable. Comes down at the two-yard line. Right side to the 10. 15. Breaks through to the 20. Upended at the 21. Took a hard hit. Got folded in half. Great coverage. Kip Lewis, the leading uh, edge of the tackle. We got a flag got a, on the got far a hold side. Hold on, of Houston. That's going to push it back a little further, guys. Boy, that was excellent coverage there. Those guys were flying down. Real physical there whenever, you know, that. During the return, holding, receiving team number 33. 10-yard penalty enforcing the spot of the foul. First down. That spot where it looks like the two armies meet each other. Uh, Oklahoma across the board was winning those battles, pushing everyone from Houston right back. So the 12-yard line is where the Cougars will start this first possession for them on offense. Woody Washington starting at corner. Did not see him last week. Can I Walker at the other corner? And now whistles before the snap. And what do we got now? Defensive line as expected. Downs, Jackson, Williams, and Thomas. Is, is that Peyton Bowen at safety with Bowman? Bowman and Bowen at safety. Stuntsman and Lewis linebacker. And Kendall Dolby at Cheetah. So the only change from a week ago is Woody Washington starting instead of Des Malone. All right, here we go. Everybody ready now from the 12. Houston going left to right. Sanford the running back, and they'll hand him the ball. Sweeping left, met, smashed, spins away, falls forward to the 11. That's still a one-yard loss. Danny Stutzman into dropping. Tackle for loss there. Great job by Stutzman, but uh, Jake Jackson just flying up the field just totally ruins that play and gives a big gap for Stutzman to run through and make the tackle. Great job. Penetration kills all zone runs, and my goodness, Jaden Jackson. Second and 11. Cougars go with a bunch formation left into the line, three wideouts, one to the right. Man in motion left to right. Smith, 
Set to throw for the first time. Immediately under pressure. Gets rid of it. Caught at the 10 by Johnson. The former Cowboy backing his way to the 19 between tacklers. That's a gain of 8. It'll bring up third down and 2 or 3. <laughs> Brent Venables is out on the numbers. Letting uh, Who's he got that it can I walk her on that missed tackle? He was hot about it. Well, I, we had a pressure issue there. They... they brought a motion across we had a pressure coming from the weak side and i think with the motion my guess is now that there's number two displays to this side uh, kip lewis turned into the blitzer and someone was supposed to pull out of it and i don't think we got that adjustment dj terry and grayson holton check in on this first third down for the cougars on offense it's about two and a half yards to gain play clock down to three Smith sends a man in motion one late snap whistles before the snap and willie fritz used a timeout to save the delay of game. There's a flag down, but I think he got the timeout first. Head referee Stephen Barron. Houston has called their first timeout of the half. 30-second timeout. 11.20 to go, no go first quarter. Play because of the timeout was called. 7 nothing Sooners. You got something down there, Chris? I, I was just going to say, something to keep an eye on, guys. That sideline for Oklahoma has already been worn twice. Beer and football, nothing is hard. Until the other team scores. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Enjoy responsibly. 21 plus, copyright 2024, Anheuser-Busch, Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Converts a 10-yard pass to the tight end Malik Carr to pick up their first first down of the game. 7-0 Sooners lead. We're four minutes into this one. First quarter. Houston from their own 29 going left to right on their opening offensive possession. Sooners scored after they were stopped on their first try. And Houston muffed the punt. Oh, you got the ball to 10 and punched it in from there on a Brennan Thompson 10-yard catch. Snap. Donovan Smith fakes the handoff. Rolls left. Sets up. Now he flings it far sideline. Incomplete. Lots of contact. Oh, no. Here comes a flag. Oh, boy. Woody Washington was on the back of Joseph Manjack, and I think he's going to get a P.I. Well, I think it's uh, – I'm hoping they don't flag Kendall Dolby for coming in with that hit as the ball was uh, already over the head. Just saw the Pass interference. Defense number five. Ball will place at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. I think that's a terrible call. The receiver slipped and fell down in his route. And as the DB was breaking on it, he stood back up to try and... I, mean, I, I, that's, I think that's a bad call, but I honestly don't know how you call that whenever the receiver goes down in his route and then is trying to get back to his feet with the, set, the defensive player trying to go make a play on the ball. 41-yard line in Houston territory, first and 10. Three wide receivers with a wing left. Pistol formation. Jenkins the back. They're going to hand it to him. Runs right. Folded up at the 44. Tackled there. It's a first down run of four by Parker Jenkins. Pretty good job there. We get uh, the corner coming up and fitting that run on the outside. Whenever he's that hard flat player, he can come and insert the run game. And You saw Kanai Walker come up and do that. Cut that running back in half. Second and six as we near the 10-minute mark first quarter. Jenkins this time to the right of Smith. Big six foot five, 235-pound quarterback. The Texas Tech transfer takes the football. Going to throw. Quick out pattern. That's caught right at the first down marker by Jonah Wilson. He's able to turn it upfield into Sooner territory to the 45. 10-yard gain. That's a tough spot to be in out there whenever you're on that island in coverage. You, know, you you've got all of that grass between you and your teammates and if you're worried about anything deep you give a little bit too much of a cushion and they're going to take advantage of it on the stop routes all day long you've got to be able to come up and be a really sure tackler and not give them anything after the catch Caden Woolard, Trace Ford, Grayson Halton all check in on the defensive line third first down of this opening drive for Houston Stacy Sneed now at running back for the Cougars from the OU 45. Smith back to pass. Another quick pass. Near side. That's caught at the 40. Tackled to the 37. Makai Mews the catch. Kendall Dolby on the tackle, but it's a gain of eight. Well, we're bringing pressure there up the middle, and we are a year late 
and we've got our de defensive backs on an island out there, if we're going to bring a pressure, you've got to have better timing than what we had right there. You get zero pressure, and you've got DBs with no protection over the top that have to give cushion. Cougars nearing field goal range, second and two. Sooners in a four-man front. Smith looks back at the far sideline, seven to snap it. The center, Demetrius Hunter, sends him the football to hand off to Snead nice. up the middle. Got uh, not quite enough for the first down. He's tackled just shy of the 35, so a gain of only one. It'll be third and half a yard here. Looks like we got maybe a friendly spot on that. I thought he had maybe the knee went down before he rolled forward, but that was a good physical one-on-one -on -one tackle there by Stutzman coming up all alone there on the edge. Sammy Omosigo is in. Third and half a yard. Ball sits between the OU 36 and 35 yard lines. Sooners lead at 7-0. We near the midway point first quarter. Under center Smith with Jenkins deep behind him. Snap. Play action. Rolling right. Looking deep. Smith still looking. Flushed right. Throws deep late across. It is a diving catch made at the 15. Joseph Manjack. And the Cougars are in the red zone. That is tough. Good, hard play action. That's why I love whenever people go under center. The play action works so much better. And then they're working some deep crossers there. We're in good coverage initially. The problem is once you get into that scramble drill, it's just so hard for those defensive backs to hang on and makes a nice throw on the run outside the pocket there. Executed really nicely by Houston. Cougars have taken the ball from their own 12 to the OU 15, first and 10. Two wide outs, double tight end, pistol formation. Man in motion left to right. That shoulders and whistles before the snap. We got a flag down. I don't know if they got it off or either a timeout's been called again. Delay of game, offense, five-yard penalty, first down. Did not get the timeout in time, and that'll back him up five to the 20. Midfirst Bank is a premier partner of OU Athletics and your exclusive home for the OU Visa credit and debit card. Go to midfirst.com slash Sooners for details. Midfirst Bank, member FDIC. 6.43 to go first quarter. 7-0 OU. First and 15 from the 20. Smith sends Johnson in motion. Snap. Play action. Wants to run, and he's caught in the backfield and dropped. Sammy Omosigo got him back at the 21, a one-yard loss. Boy, it almost looks like he was trying to do maybe an RPO, and his receiver on the other side didn't get the call and was just going up the field, stock block in the, the corner there. Or maybe that was just a, a, a quarterback draw play, but either way, it didn't, didn't get executed very well. Tenth play of this drive for Houston. Second and 16 now from the 21. Smith straightens up, looks back to the far side. Play clock at five. Now he's ready. Claps his hands and takes the football. It's a handoff to Jenkins. Sweeping nice. left. Bam! Sat down right at the line of scrimmage. Another Danny Stutzman tackle. That's at least three on this opening drive. And it's third and 16. Three tackles and all of them really physical. Look at this good pad level by Stutzman. Drives the hips. Really good play there. You can tell, you know, at 6'4", 240 plus pounds, when you meet Stutzman in the hole, good luck knocking him backwards. We sold him short. Six tackles on this drive by Danny Stutz. Wow. That's how many he had the entire game last week. Third down and 16. Crowd in a frenzy. Snap, Smith, back to pass. Looks right, runs back left. He's caught in the backfield. Dropped. That's a sack. Dominic Williams. His first in a Sooner uniform. All the way back at the 25. Boy, what a play there. And you see, we just had the three down linemen up front. And I don't know who it was on the near side jump. They were trying to get a, a quick little screen play to the outside. And someone jumped it like crazy, the corner on the near side. And he had to pull that down and eat it. And we're quickly up the field at the interior defensive line. Good job. Good team defense. Joseph Kim did the PATs last week. Jack Martin, the field goals. This is Kim trying the field goal. And it is up and good. 
A 41-yard field goal by Joseph Kim, and the Cougars are on the board for the first time. It's 7-3 now, OU with 4.29 to go first quarter. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Coca-Cola. Crisp, refreshing, and irresistibly tasty. Uh, what you're used to. Although, when you get the ball down in the red zone, yeah. you know, it's different. We had that big negative, yeah, that, I don't know, that reverse play. Jack Martin to boot it away. Billy Bowman deep to receive. His first kickoff was a touchback. This one's shorter, returnable. Bowman up to take it at the 5. Right side to the 10. 15. Tries to come middle of the field. Tripped up, though, at the 15-yard line. Looked like there may have been a little bit of a, a gap. If we would have taken it straight, but they may have had a left return on. Is it just me, but this isn't the NFL. Right. But they're doing the uh, XFL, UFL kickoff, you know. Mm -hmm. They kick it from the 35. They just kick it out every time. Mm -hmm. Why even do it? Just say we're going to kick it out and put it at the 30. Why even go through the motion? In the, in I the was NFL surprised. The NFL, most, I thought. I thought they put yeah. it at the 30 or mm -hmm. the 25 where it has, there's a return. Right. They're Barnes still just going to kick it out. But what Barnes and saw Chuck Arnold on the keeper over the left side to the 20 yard line. He lowers his shoulder and he gets it to the 22. No slide, seven yard gain. I love the uh, athlete that Jackson Arnold is. Yeah, you don't have to worry about him taking a hit. He can run. That's a, that's a big advantage, I think, through the year. That's going to make a difference. Sachuk and Barnes both in the game. Hand off Barnes. Sweeping right, trying to get to the corner. He's got it. 25, first down, 30, and wrapped up there, out of bounds, around the 31. Look at the speed of Javante Barnes. Well, I like that, you know, that, that look. We saw a little bit of it last week with the two backs in there, and I, our, all of our backs have really good speed, so I think that, that hand sweep stuff, being able to gain the edge out of that split back look could be a big weapon for us. Nine-yard run. How about this? Tatum is in. Taylor Tatum's first snap. Split backs with Barnes. Back to pass. Arnold under pressure. Steps up in the pocket. He'll run, and he got a few yards. Looked like he was going to be sacked, but he got three to the 34. Again, nice athleticism gets him out of it. What's that, Gabe? Late scan by the back? Is that yeah. who should have had that? Looks like Barnes was scanning late. And I, I just I don't think he ever saw him coming, Ted. It was, it was, it was pretty delayed. He came from way outside. Bauer Sharp checks back in, as does Zion Reagans. He's high side of the field. Second and seven. Back to pass Arnold. Across the middle, throws a dart, but it's through the hands of the intended receiver, Reagans, and falls to the turf incomplete. Third down. How are we feeling about the uniforms, you guys? I love, oh, love them. They look great. What do you think? I wish they had black shoes like Teddy. <laughs> yeah. Teddy was there with yeah. us. We when mentioned we that did it. That did look cool. It's, it's crazy how much the shoes can kind of change the whole look of the oh, uniform. changes everything. Third down. Arnold looks right, looks middle, takes a deep shot, Come looking on. for Brennan Thompson, and he missed it. Threw it over his left shoulder, needed to put it over his right shoulder, and the Sooners will kick it away. Another failure on third down. Well, it was good protection there, and he stood in there, had some chaos around him, but trusted it. And I don't know if that was a mix-up with where they were supposed to end up on that route or not, but... Would have loved to connect on it. 2.50 to go first quarter. Sooners lead at 7-3. to three. Luke Elzinga, who had a great punt first time that led to the muff, is on the field again. Maybe they'll muff it again. Well, he's, he Same guy. Muse is back, yeah. The Georgia transfer. High oh, hanging man. punt this time. Fair catch called for, and it is taken at the 28. And that's where Houston will start their second possession of the night. 7-3 Sooners in front, 2.42 to go here in the first quarter. Coach, I did want to ask you about, um, you know, we got injury reports coming. We found out this week. Would you have hated that? No, I, I, I don't mind with that. that. I was always, I never hid much. I, uh, you know what, if everybody has to do it, I'm all for it. I don't. Do you Especially, do that in the XFL? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I have no problem with it. And I, I never hit much. 29-yard line, Houston. I didn't runs. feel like I needed to. Like, look, so-and-so is going to be out. So-and-so is going to play. He's just as good. Don't worry about it, you know? Burnett takes it to the 30. It does seem like that as the years have gone by, football coaches have gotten a little more paranoid about 
that kind of information getting out. Yeah, I don't well, you know. we got Connor Stallions now mm-hmm. saying, yeah. you got to worry about that kind of stuff, don't you? Yeah, some guys are paranoid, some aren't. I don't know. I, I never felt like I was much, but I didn't want to, you know, do anything I didn't have to. So, But I, I never hit much. Second and nine, handoff to Burnett again. Good defense. Yeah. One yard to the 29, or to the 31. It'll be third and eight. Boy, we already, you know, what I love is the depth at linebacker. And you see Kobe McKenzie out there. And now he's playing the mic, and Stutzman has moved over to play the will. And, you know, it's going to be tough to run on this group with those two big boys playing backer. Robert Spears Jennings also in the game at safety. Uh-oh. Third and eight. Trips right. Sanford the back. Shotgun snap Smith. Straight drop. Looking right. Steps up. Flushed. Throws late across the middle. High catch. Flag is down. This could be a touchdown. Williams in the open field. Caught from behind at the 32. Was he across the line of scrimmage? Looked like he was. The flag. It looks like the ref the is waiting in the, on the backfield, flag. though. Yeah. Got to be holding. He, I think it was behind the line. Holding. Offense number 77. Yeah. Yeah. Ten yard penalty enforced in the previous spot. Third down. Well, that's where they've gotten us, though, so far as a couple of the extended plays. That's when it gets really hard on the back end. You know, if the quarterback's able to, you know, kind of break loose from the initial surge and get outside and create some different time, those, all the route concepts break down. You're just trying to hang on to whatever you can. But then you get broken routes, and that's tough. Tough on DBs. Third penalty on Houston. Backs it up to the 21 and brings up a third down at 18. With 108 to go in the quarter. Oklahoma leads at 7-3. to three. He'd probably be real conservative here on this call, I would imagine. Trips right, one left. Smith has it. Looking across the middle, throws it back. Left Great. side, screen, and it's caught. Far side with room to run. 30, 35, pushed out of bounds. I think just shy of the first down marker. Hardly anybody over there. 37-yard line. That's a 16-yard gain, but they needed 18. Boy, this is a real good play design. You know, you've got the trips to the right, and the back is offset to that, creating the four, and it's that. They fake that little drag screen where the number one receiver comes back behind the line of scrimmage, and they instead of bringing the back to the front side to block, they hide him, and he skates back, and they throw that running back screen to him. Oh, pretty good play design, and... Luckily, we sniffed it out late enough to be able to get that push out of bounds. Sooners go punt safe here on fourth and two. Willie Fritz waited to send the punt team on the field, but he finally did it. There's the kick. Lefty far sideline. Billy Bowman calls for a fair catch. Dropped it. Jumps back on top of it. I was talking to Brent early in the week, and Willie Fritz is a huge uh, analytics guy. Oh, really? So he goes for it on fourth down like more than about anybody. Wow. So there, there, there you have the punt safe. The, so Brent's aware of it. And uh, interesting, you know, the analytics, yeah. someone tells you to go for it on your own 36-yard line. <laughs> and Brent and I were talking like, I tell the guy to go fly a kite, <laughs> where some guys are like, I'm going for it. Yeah. So, uh, and a- anyway, you see that throughout the NFL, NCAA now, and uh, Brent and I were talking about that earlier in the week. That's good stuff. 19-yard line, OU starts this possession. So watch for that, though, through yeah. the game, that they may go for it on fourth down, Sweet. even in their own territory, Oof. more than... More than most people would. Swing pass to Javante Barnes. He lowers the shoulder and delivers a hit at the 20. Took it to the 21 for a short gain of two. Could be the final snap of the quarter if they want it to be, but it looks like they're going to speed up here a bit. Second down and eight. Trips right, one left. Barnes the back. Arnold has it. Hand off Barnes, right side, room, 25, first down, 30, skips by a guy out near the 35. The explosive run for Javante Barnes. Well, he looks good, doesn't he? I mean, he's he's coming downhill. He's putting his head down. They're trying to snap it again. Can't quite do it. Can't quite get it off before the first quarter ends. First downs brought to you by Paycom. Score big by empowering employees to do their own thing. Learn more at Paycom.com. So the first quarter ends when a 13-yard Javante Barnes run. Sooners will have it first and 10 from their own 34. When we start the second, leading 7-3. to three. Coach, we didn't get to chat with you very long tonight because of the way the timeouts fell. So 
Our apologies, but it's always a thrill to have you. Bob, right? But yes, Mike, it's clear. Houston wants to reduce, reduce the, the possessions in this game. By the way, we got a heck of a backcourt and frontcourt here in the south end zone. Chet Holmgren and Trey Young here tonight, T-Row. Oh, nice. That's a firepower. Pistol formation for OU to start the second quarter from their own 34. Barnes, deep. Three wide outs, tight end right. Man in motion is sharp. Play action. Jackson Arnold, deep drop, looks deep, lets it fly. Brennan Thompson, got it! 35-yard line in Houston territory and wrapped up with a 32. Second quarter starts with a deep strike. Well, and that's great play design. Burks runs the over route to draw that middle safety. And then they hit Brennan Thompson screaming across there. Beautiful ball by Jackson Arnold. 33 yards, quick snap, handoff up the middle. Barnes charges to the 30. Knee down, they say, shy of the 30. Short gain on first down. Well, I love the violence that Barnes is running with tonight, though. You see him help that offensive line on that side just because he's coming downhill. Get that surge on that side, get create that positive yardage. J.J. Hester in for his first snap. He's to the near sideline. Sooners going left to right. That's north to south here in the second quarter. Double tight end left. One of them sharp now goes in motion to the right. Arnold's got it. Going to throw. Quickly caught. That is Burks at the 25 to the 20. First down, carrying the pile to the 19. RPO, Gabe, that looked decisive. Yeah, that looks much crisper than some of those situations from Jackson Arnold last week. That looks really good, Ted. Sooners in the red zone brought to you by Delta Dental, the state's leading provider of dental benefits. They want to go fast. Snap. Arnold looking to throw. Pocket collapsing around him, trying to get out. He spins. Near side, still looking. Now he'll run it 20 down the sidelines tiptoes to the 15 got a good chunk of yardage all the way to the 13 almost sacked and picked up six a really good job there initially good protection and then he starts to leave the pocket and i don't think there was a breakdown at all he just got a little happy feet in there and was able to spin out and go the opposite direction pick up some positive yards if they protect him like that more often he'll learn to trust it second and four Barnes on the handoff up the middle, runs into a pile, keeps his feet moving, reaching for the 10. They're going to say down at the 11. Gain of two. It'll be third and two. Sooners 0 for 2 tonight on third downs, 1 for 14 on the season. They haven't had a whole lot of these, though. Third and two. As Cade McIntyre, tight end out of Fremont, Nebraska, checks into the game. Antenna up here. Seth Luttrell was with us on Coach's Corner this week. Gabe had rave reviews for Cade. Three tight ends in. And one of them, McIntyre split out near sideline. He's off the ball. He's about to motion across. And a timeout has been called by OU. Hey, guys, one thing to keep an eye on. Jake Taylor, who is battling through multiple injuries. Oklahoma has called the first time out of the half. At the Houston 12. And they break the huddle here. Still three tight ends. You got Sharp and Roberts set left into the line. And then McIntyre split wide right, but he's offset. Now he goes in motion, as you said, Teddy. There's the snap. Play action. Lob in zone. Bauer Sharp. No. Jake Roberts touchdown. Wide open. Beautiful play design. Oh, I love that. You bring the different personnel grouping in. You got that short yardage. Defense is going to be selling out to stop the run. And good play action fake. Just lead that tight end through the middle of the defense. You get the, the uh, motion coming across with the other tight end to create some chaos in the backfield. That's really well, uh, well designed. got to be a cool moment for the Roberts family, I was just going to say, man, a lifelong Sooner fan. Went to Norman High School. I uh, was in the Norman area, excuse me. Norman North. Yeah. Norman North. What an absolute moment for Jake. His mom, Kristen, his entire family, his brother, Nate. Big time moment. Sisters, a volleyball player at the collegiate level. Athletic family. Just an awesome moment to see Jake Roberts hit Pater here. And on this night, on this celebration of the greatest era of Oklahoma Sooner football, to see a lifelong diehard Sooner Sooner fan, score a touchdown, pretty awesome. That is cool. Extra point is good. Touchdowns brought to you by Air Comfort Solutions, your total home solution for plumbing, heating, air conditioning, and electrical. Make the winning call today. We did have a review, by the way, 
opening possession of the game, and I failed to mention that our reviews, as always, brought to us by Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law, the law firm you should turn to for all of your personal injury needs. Teddy, that drive looked better. Yeah, I really like that. Saw some great stuff from Jackson Arnold. Hit that deep crosser to, to Thompson. That was excellent. Barnes got the running game going a little bit there. Uh, some nice different personnel groupings here. Really nice play design there to cap it off. That was a nice drive. Drive summary brought to you by the Fowler Automotive Group after this kickoff. There's the boot. Good one. Driving. That'll be a touchback as it sails deep into the end zone. Eight plays, 81 yards. It took 311. I, that's that's the best drive of the season so far, yeah. right? I mean, Jackson Arnold, four for four, passing on that drive for 57 yards. The big play, the 33-yarder to Brennan Thompson. Yeah, just and it was a beautiful ball. He hit him perfectly. So it's 14-3 to three now, and Houston will start after the touchback from their own 25. New corners, Des Malone and Gentry Williams in the game. It is Bowman and Robert Spears Jennings at safety. Right to left, Houston. Sooner showing pressure on first down. Smith's got it. Quick throw. Lob down the far sideline. Man falls down, and it's incomplete. And let's see if he's okay. It was intended for Jonah Wilson, who was running free after Gentry Williams slipped and fell, but fortunately the pass was overthrown. They're, they're waving. They're waving to take him out of the game right now. Last week, Gentry only had 16 snaps. I think Daddy Gabe, you guys have talked about it. He's been battling and, a myriad of shoulder issues. And he fell right on that shoulder that's been an issue. Kind of flexing his hand, coming off the field. Not good. Kenai Walker replaces him. Hand off Jenkins. Up Ooh. the middle. Pam. Sit down. <laughs> Danny Stutzman planted him. One yard loss of the 24. What the cleater. He's on one tonight. I think he likes these uniforms. I don't know what it is, but look at that. <laughs> Just snap the hips. I mean, wow. right in the sternum. Beautiful. Third and a little over 10. Houston two for four on third downs. We've got 11.50 to go second quarter. Trips left, one right. Man in motion. Snap. It's a handoff on third down up the middle. Not much. Jenkins got one, maybe one and a half. They ran it on third and 11. And Houston's going to have to kick it away. Well, I think Stutzman was in on that one, too. Man, Ted, what a game. Is, he is rocking people when he arrives to the football. We just got to get him to change that helmet. That is nine tackles <laughs> before halftime. Incredible. It, it's a helmet. It, it clearly is supposed to have a visor on it, and it does. It looks interesting without the visor on it. Peyton Bowen deep to receive. Toward the near sideline, no fair catch. Taken at the 21, back pedal. Now goes forward, 25, 30, splits defenders, 35, still on his feet to the 40, and he's wrapped up at the 41. Good return by Peyton Bowen. That was nice. He just maneuvered his way through Cougars. Really good block there to set it up. And then a couple of nice cuts. Sooner football brought to you by OU Health. Proud to be Oklahoma's flagship academic health system. 20-yard punt return by Peyton Bowen. And the Sooners leading 14-3 have the ball at good field position at their own 41 to start this possession. Gabe, you mentioned during that timeout, we were just chatting. Feels like Oklahoma kind of taking this game by the scruff of the neck right now. Yeah, that's how it feels to me. Feels like this offense has found a rhythm. Feels like this offensive line is starting to find some confidence, starting to make create some more movement in the run game. And I, I really like how Jackson Arnold's decision-making seems to be, it just seems to be crisper and a little quicker. Three wide receivers set. Reagan's in. Saw Chuck it back. The speeds to Reagan's top of the field. Quick throw far side. Caught by Burks. Hit hard immediately, but he hung on at the 45. It's a four-yard gain. We haven't seen last week or this Dion Burks be able to get loose yet. Right. Sooners over the ball quickly. Second and six. Arnold. Handoff. Sweeping right. Saw Chuck. Met at the line of scrimmage. Falls forward for a yard. Haven't seen him get loose yet either. It'll be third down and five. 46. 
little bit different angle on that zone play right there. Like they're trying to take it a little more outside. Got cut down from the back end, but I like the I like the style. Slant battered, caught by Burks. He's loose, 45 to the 40, up into the 39-yard line. We got a little it. bit of running room. Deion Burks. 15 yards into Cougar territory. First downs brought to you by Paycom. Score big by empowering employees to do their own payroll. Learn more at Paycom.com. Boy, he explodes whenever he catches the ball. He's got a little bit of room. Jackson, 9 of 11, passing for 85 yards, two touchdowns so far. And the Sooners on the march again. Arnold, handoff, Sawchuck, bounce sideways, couldn't get away, no gain. Hit by Keith Cooper, the defensive end. Well, it looked like he had something out to his left initially and kept it inside maybe a little bit too long. Maybe he's trying to set the backers up before he bounces it, but chased down by the defensive end. Second and 10 from the plus 39. Arnold's got it. Play action. Looks right. Steps up. Wrapped up. Drop. Sack. Couldn't get away from Cooper. There's that guy again who's celebrating. First sack of the night for Houston. And Oklahoma's got third and long. It looked like Arnold wanted to get rid of that ball quickly and then had to hang on to it. He set up in a weird spot in the pocket. Looked like he was too far over to the edge and off that play action and kind of walked himself into that sack there. It's third and 14. Let's see if they try to get some of it. This is go for it in fourth down range if you could get at least half of it here, maybe. Four wide outs. Barnes, the running back, right hip of Arnold. 8.34 to go second quarter. Oklahoma leads 14-3. Jackson back to pass. Looks left, throws left. Caught! First down! 25-yard line that the ball pops out, and Houston falls on it. Is this a catch and a fumble or incomplete? Or was he down? Bauer sharp the catch, and now they say it's an incomplete pass. Well, he got, I think he had it, and he took a weird hit and went spinning in the Going air. on the field is an incomplete pass. Third down. It's just, it's whether or not that ball was knocked loose when he went spinning in the air, because if he secured it and hits the ground. That was a fourth dart. down, isn't it? It's fourth down. We'll take the extra down. I think he, dro I think he dropped a, it. I think it's a, I think it's a fumble. Down. Yeah. No, no, no. It's a, okay. It's an incomplete. incomplete. Yeah. What a ball, though. It was a dart. He just got spun and hit in the back whenever he was in midair, and it, and it came out. From my angle, it looked like he knew he was about to get hit and kind of tried to mm -hmm. spin and protect himself. Elzinga trying to pin him deep. End over end toward the far sideline. Fair catch called for and taken at the 10-yard line. Nice job there. Okay. Sooner settled for a punt. That's disappointing, but good job by Elzinga. And Houston will start at the 10 after a TV timeout. With 8.09 to go second quarter, it's Oklahoma 14 and Houston 3. Playing at a pretty high level. I'm, I'm really, really impressed with what he's playing through. He's a... That's what you want for an offensive lineman. Straight tough guy. Houston from the 10. 8.09 to go second quarter. Quick throw out to the side. Caught at the 10-yard line by the receiver, Man Jack, who tiptoes his way forward. Then we got some pushing and shoving over there on the sidelines. Des Malone, no flag. They're going to give him all the way out to the 17. So a 7-yard gain on first down. <laughs> I love Stutzman and Onsego arguing about what they were supposed to do on that last play. Stutzman kind of threw him over there. And he end up getting the tackle, and they get up, and they're still arguing over it. Mustangs, Jacoby Johnson in at corner. First time we've seen him tonight. Second and four, we'll call it, from the 16. Smith, the quarterback, has it. Fakes a pass. Now he pulls it down. Pump fake. Wants to run. Got a blocker. Bounces outside. First down. Pushed out of bounds into the bench, but he got enough for the first. Takes it out around the 21. Boy, that's really a pretty good job by Des Malone. It looks like he's turning it down here, but... He saw that Donovan Smith had a blocker out in front of him, and he knew if he pulled his gun and got pinned inside, that could be a long run. So he fought outside and over the top of that blocker to keep it from uh, getting outside of contain. That was a pretty good job. Trace Ford checks in. Woody Washington as well. Woody at uh, kind of a nickel or, or maybe at the cheetah here. First and 10 from the 21. Donovan Smith. 
hands it off. Sanford up the middle, across the 25, then pulled back by Woody Washington there. A nice first down chunk, though, got about five. Good job by Woody Washington closing down. He's the overhang player. He's in a tough spot. After he sees that handoff, he crashes down on the inside, makes a nice tackle, and gets rewarded with a crushing shot to the face by Robert Spears Jennings <laughs> coming from the, the deep safety spot. Starting tackles, Jaden Jackson and Dominic Williams back in, second and five from the 26. We're down to 6.15 to go second quarter. Oklahoma leads Houston 14-3. Smith looks at the sidelines, three to snap it. Now he takes the football. Fakes the pitch, runs it himself, breaks one tackle, dives forward for a yard or two. Lewis Carter in on the stop. We'll give him just one yard to the 27. Third down and four upcoming. And this is the third lineup we've seen at backer with Stutzman out there. Stutzman with Kobe McKenzie, with Kip Lewis, and now Lewis Carter. Crowd gets loud. Houston two of five on third downs. They got a third and four here. They go three wides with a tight end left. That's Malik Carr. Running back Stacy Sneed moves to the left side of Donovan Smith, who changes something with his O line. Now backs into the gun. Has the football. He will hand it off. Sneed sweeping right. Sees a wall of crimson. He's wrapped up. Pushed back. Won't go down. Now he will. Oh, somebody came in and lit up the pile. No gain. Peyton Bowen capped it off. It'll be fourth down. I think it may have been Woody Washington that came up and ended it with a shot right to the chest. Great read by Danny Stutzman. He's in perfect position to kill that thing initially, and then everyone else comes to the party. Boy, Robert Spears Jennings, who was RSJ, that shouldn't surprise us. No. And the Cougars will punt. Lefty end over end line drive, fair catch called for. Bobble drop, diving for it. Peyton Bowen got back on top of it. Second time tonight that an OU punt returner has dropped the punt. First it was Billy Bowman, this time Peyton Bowen. Both times fortunately got back on it. And the Sooners will start at their own 39. Boy, that punt was weird. It looked like it, it was kind of like a half knuckle, half tumbling football. And he misread it. It hit him right in the face mask. And right out there to uh, let him know about it was DeMarco Murray, who coaches the punt returner. Is not happy. Welcome back to the sidelines, DeMarco. <laughs> One other injury update. Teddy, Toby, they've taken Gentry Williams back to the locker room. So limited action tonight. Looks like his might. Night. Maybe that will monitor potentially return in the second half. Logan Howland in the left tackle. Jake Taylor to right tackle. From the 39, Sooners leading by 11. Play action. Arnold rolls right, throws right. That's caught. Reagans. Zion Reagans. His first career catch takes it into Houston territory to the 48. A nice gain of 13. That, is that, that's Tarquin to right tackle, isn't it? Correct. Yeah. Tarquin to right tackle. Howland left tackle. Tarquin right tackle now. First and 10 Sooners in Houston territory. Another play action. Down the far sideline, under through Reagans or Thompson this time. He had one-on-one -on -one coverage, Brennan Thompson. And it'll be second and 10. I mean, that looks like a bad throw. Uh, he's got him beat right there. And I don't know. I'm wondering if he, he felt like he was in, in phase and wanted to throw it back shoulder. But, but Brennan Thompson, you probably always just send that one out there. But another good blitz pickup by Javante Barnes. That's two or three tonight. Really well done. Second and 10 from the Houston 48. Keeper Arnold runs it himself. Got wrapped up at the line of scrimmage and thrown back by Carlos Allen. That's your guy in the pregame, Gabe. Loss of one. Back to the 49. He's a good player. That's just one where he's he's looping out on the little twist game there, Ted. And yeah, with backside. Arnold keeps it right into him. All right, here we got one of these third and longs again. Third and 11 this time from the Houston 49. With 3.45 to go in the half. Back to pass Arnold. Deep shot, near sideline for Reagans. Overthrew him, out of bounds. Boy. Did you see that collision with, yeah. between Barnes and that linebacker? Another, another great job by Javante Barnes. He's probably given up 30 pounds, and he goes 100 miles an hour. Massive collision with that backer. Well, the Sooners are going to have to punt. Last two possessions, they've taken the ball into Houston territory and not been able to get it into field goal range. We're down to 3.41 to go in the half. Elzinga 
able to pin him on the 10 yard line last time. Let's see what he can do here. It's Muse inside the 10 waiting for it. Snap back. There's the kick. High end over in. Muse backing inside the five. He'll take it at the three, and he is wrapped up at the three yard line. Great coverage. Jaden Hardy, the freshman, and then Robert Spears Jennings come in to help. They're going to spot it at the four. Great punt, great coverage. Boy, Hardy does exactly. This is a pooch punt territory. You could see him go hard to the goal line and then loop instead of going directly to the returner. He's worried about the ball going into the end zone, so he's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. And then when he sees the returner catch it, he converts, and he's in perfect position to make a play. That is awesome execution. And a horrible decision by Mews. Correct. Remember last week, same part of the field, late first half, OU forced to turn over and score. Let's see if they can do it again here. It's a handoff, sweeping right. Jenkins cuts it up the middle to the five. That's all he got, one yard to the five. It'll be second and nine. Good job. I think that's R. Mason Thomas in there and Kobe McKenzie, Kip Lewis coming in late. This is the first series we've seen without Stutzman out there. P.J. Adebawa Ray in for the first time tonight. You got P.J. on one end, R. Mason on the other. Second and nine from the five, 3 one to go, second quarter. This is a glimpse of the future right here with P.J. in at defensive end and the two young backers, Kobe McKenzie and Kip Lewis in there. Houston huddles up. Now Donovan Smith moves under center. Last time he did this, they went play action for a deep shot. There's the snap. Going to hand it off this time. Bouncing it sideways. Nowhere to go. I mean, they just RSK. cannot get any room in the running game. Robert Spears Jennings. Oh, no. Oh, no. A little slow getting up for RSJ. And we got two guys. Official yeah. timeout for an injured player. It, it looked like one of those situations where maybe fell on his foot fell on his foot and like knocked the wind out of himself yeah, hopefully i think so Kobe an McKenzie kind of fell on top of him too yeah it's kind of an odd play there yeah he's holding his stomach timer please reset the game clock at, at his foot now two three zero he's up but now he's stopped at the 10 yard line it looks like they're looking at his right leg a couple of quick injury updates. Gabe, that was Jake Taylor. They took him, took him to the injury tent for a little bit, so we'll see yeah, if he can. He's, yeah, it's not looking good for him. He's uh, he's giving it everything he's got. Robert uh, Spears, I hope the fans realize that. Robert Spears Jennings able to walk off the field under his own power, and they checked with Brennan Thompson just after that last series. The athletic trainers came over, just checked to make sure he was okay because uh, after the slide, he didn't come back to the game, but all looks to be well with Brennan Thompson for Oklahoma, so... Uh, uh, hopefully good news, too, here on Robert Spears Jennings, who was able to get to the sideline under his own power. Stutzman back in. Michael Boganowski in for the first time tonight on third and eight. Alert all Cougars. Michael Boganowski is patrolling deep. Just going to leave that one alone. Smith standing on the one-yard line awaiting the shotgun snap. We're down to 2.10 to go in the half. Sooners have two timeouts if they want. Clap of the hands. No football yet. Play clock down to 10. We're under two minutes to go now. And now whistles. And a timeout's been called. The two-minute timeout. That's a two-minute timeout. Oh, the timeout's been called by the NCAA. Thank you. It's still hard to timeout. get used to, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you very much. Timeout on the field. We'll take it with them. The long one backed up. They threw that running back screen and got a lot of yardage out of it. So, I don't know. I, my bet would be sprint pass up, trying to hit something on the sideline. Robert Spears Jennings back in. Boganowski out on third and eight from the six. Three wide outs, tight end left. The back is Snead. Smith stands on his one. Sooner showing blitz. They bring pressure. Hand off Snead. Bounces it outside. He got to the 10. He's met at the 12. He's trying to get to the first down marker. He won't get there, though. A yard and a half shy. And the Sooners will use one of their two remaining timeouts with 147 to go in the half. Well, they tried to. Our defensive end came underneath. I don't know if it was a call, but came underneath over there. Our Mason Thomas. Oklahoma has called their second timeout of the half. It was, Timer, please reset the game clock to 149. 149. It was a dangerous play because that receiver over on that side was lined up in cracked position, which means he's tight to the core. And 
whenever he came under, we almost got pinned on the inside and would have almost gave up that edge. Would have been an easy first down. Well, first half is not done, but so far, defense still looks good. Special teams still looks good. They've made a game-changing play in the first half. Offense still kind of looks the same as last week, right, Ted? It's not yeah. dynamic so far. Right. Yes and no. I mean, there's some things I've seen from the offense that I actually really like. Uh, they just, you know, I think... Arnold took a sack on one that I think was probably his fault. There's been some negative yardage plays. You know, we took a shot on that last one on first down, which I don't mind, but didn't connect, and it got us, you know, off schedule. Billy Bowman now back to receive this punt. It's toward the far sideline. Billy says get away from it. It's sailing out of bounds. Boy, they're going to get good field position here. The 45. Their side judge of the 50, still going down the field into Houston territory, stops at the 46. The Houston 46. Generous there. The entire break, Toby, the entire break, Teddy, that, that, that the Sooners had on defense. Jackson Arnold was on the iPad, on the phone. When he came off the field, he had slammed his helmet in frustration, but talked through it with Seth Luttrell. Felt like he saw a few things, guys, whenever they got that film study here uh, for a frustrated Jackson. Jackson Arnold, that last possession. Got to at least get into field goal range here. 142 yeah. to go in the half. One timeout. Sooners lead 14 to 3 from the plus 46. Three wides. Burks, Thompson, and is this Reagans down near side? Here it is. Yes. Reagans goes in short motion. Snap to Arnold. Wants to throw. Rolls right. Throws near side. Floats it deep. Oh, that was a dangerous pass. It falls incomplete. Looking for Burks. That's probably the most dangerous looking pass Arnold has thrown this season, but he got away with it. Second and ten. That's uh, cell route or nine seven three. You got a vertical on the outside. You run that little fade as, as the intermediate, and then you've got the flat route. You're trying to put the flat player in a tough position, and he sank deep there. Should have taken the underneath throw. Second and ten. Quick throw. Caught on the edge. Dropped on the edge by Brennan Thompson. They were setting up a little uh, screen for him. He had blockers in front but couldn't hang on. Third and ten. And it's classic. Took his eye off at last second to look up field to try and make a move. Is that Burks holding his shoulder coming off? Mm, boy, you don't like to see that. The athletic trainer's on it. First people to meet him right when he comes off the field. We're right in front of you guys. We'll keep an eye on him. I think he's one of the blockers out there on that little stop route. Jacquez Petaway is in. Four wides on third and ten from the plus 46-yard line. Arnold to throw. Three-man rush. Has time. Looking. Now flushed right. Throws near side. It is incomplete. Reagans near the sideline. Backing out of bounds. Trying to keep his feet in. Couldn't hang on to the football. And the Sooners go three and out. Don't gain a yard. Well, that's a good throw. Yeah, I should have caught it. You got to make that. It drills him in the face mask. I know he's he feels that sideline getting close, and he's trying to be aware of where it is with his feet and just loses concentration on catching that football. Chris, keep us updated on Burks. He Look, looks see. like a left thumb that they're working on, guys, and he seems to be in pain. Hmm. Here's the kick by El Zinga. Third straight time trying to pin Houston deep. Fair catch called for. Bounces at the six and then caroms into the end zone. Took a big hop forward and none of the gunners could get there in time to save it. So Houston will get it at the 20. Kind of low trajectory on that one too. Didn't have much hang time for those guys to get down there. Uh, that I thought that last throw from Jackson Arnold was really nice. And the protection... I feel like overall has improved from what we saw a week ago. Like he had a really nice pocket to throw from there and then decided to escape to the outside to try and create a scramble drill and, and had someone. Let's see how frisky Houston's feeling. By the way, let's correct that. It looks more like forearm guys. They were just stretching that left thumb for Burks. Okay. From the 20, they're going to start with a handoff up the middle, a hard hit. At the 24-yard line, the pile's going to stop there. Four-yard run on first down by Sneed. I think it was Stutzman in there again. It's going to be at least 10 first-half tackles for Danny. Another flush tackle as well. Sooners have one timeout, but we're under a minute to go. Doesn't look like they plan on using it here. Frustrating offensive first half. OU goes punt, but got the muff. Scored a touchdown, then punt, touchdown, punt, punt, punt. 
Are we surprised they're not they didn't call time out there? Handoff Sneed left. bounces it back left, has a blocker, has the first down across the 30, down the sidelines to the 40, ushered out there by Billy Bowman. 33 seconds to go in the half. That's kind of what I was talking about with Des Malone earlier. We see someone peek inside on the out and get, actually, Woody Washington got held like crazy is how that got to the outside. But when you lose contain like that's whenever they can turn it up and turn it into a big chunk on you. David Stone in for his first snap defensively tonight. He lines up next to Dominic Williams from the 41-yard line, Houston, in a pistol. Man in motion right to left. Play action. Smith going to look deep. Throws across the middle. Got a man in Sooner territory at the 40-yard line. It's Stephon Johnson. The former Cowboy takes it down near field goal range to the 36. And he's wrapped up there. 23-yard pickup. 23 seconds to go in the half. We didn't bring much pressure. Had a late delay blitz there from Kip Lewis. And wide open in the middle of the field. I don't know what pulled us out of that those zone drops. Houston now interested. They go fast. Smith, late throw across the middle, caught on the crossing route at the 30-yard line by Johnson again. Breaks one tackle, now piled on at the 29. Definitely in field goal range now with 10 seconds. And Houston will use a timeout. Houston has called their second timeout of the half. 30-second timeout. Houston started this possession just thinking maybe we'll run out the clock here. But they got the big play across the middle, and now they're going to try to at least get him a field goal before halftime. On that one, you're running that shallow crosser, and Smith locked his eyes on him pretty quickly. I wish Kip Lewis was just a fraction quicker on that play to, to come down and, and make that tackle. He, he waited that extra count, and that's how it got around him and able to turn it back upfield for, for more positive yards. Time of possession in this game. Somewhat concerning. Houston 18-27. OU just 11-23. So it's second and three Houston from the 29 in Sooner territory. Ten seconds to go in the half. They have one timeout left. Donovan Smith, nine of ten passing tonight for 109 yards. Sanford the back. Smith. Quick throw, screen to the right, caught at the 30, running for the sidelines, Great 26, job. late tackle, Marquis Shoulders, the Tulsa transfer, four seconds to go, and they're going to have to kick it now as he took it out at the 25 or 26. Boy, that was really good pursuit there by the defense. Kendall Dolby trusts the guys on the inside of him, goes all the way out around the block, perfectly done, and makes that tackle. Joseph Kim made a 43-yarder going the other way in the first quarter. This will be a 44-yarder. Kicking it right to left, south to north, from the right hash. Redshirt freshman from Lawton High School, the Houston kicker. He's got the distance, and it is good. And Houston closes the half with a field goal. 14-6 our score at halftime. Oklahoma in a closer-than-expected battle on this Saturday night at halftime here in Norman. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Coca-Cola. Crisp, refreshing, and irresistibly tasty. Is Coke Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Try and decide. The halftime show is next. This is Sooner Football from Learfield. No touchdowns, no interceptions. First half stats brought to you by Taco Mayo. Tap the app and save today. Teddy, how about your pipe pass keys to the second half? Well, we got to run the football. As I look at it here, unless I'm missing something, we've only got seven carries by running backs. Now, Jackson Arnold's credited with five. Um, you know, I don't know how many of those were called or not, but we've got to get the running game going on the offensive side. And number two, wide receiver play has to pick up two drops. Um, you know, one of them critical would have been a, thir a third down conversion on a really nice play by Jackson Arnold. And then defensively, we've got to get into the backfield a little bit more in this passing game. We've got to threaten the quarterback, force him to either get rid of it before he wants, be careless with the football, or get him sacked in the backfield. 
Uh, Houston will get the ball first in the second half. Sooners kick off left to right. Zach Schmidt, the duties. Looks left, looks right, approaches the football to the weather. Leather. It's another good kick. Driving kick all the way through the end zone. Touchback. It's almost as if someone said, let's get a little bit more juice here in the second half on the sidelines, guys. Uh, a lot of the players who aren't dressed out tonight got behind the sidelines, had the towels going, had a little extra energy. Schmidt was kind of directing the orchestra to make sure that they were bringing the noise they needed to. So at the very least, the sidelines come out of the second, out of the locker room in the second half. A little bit more energy than maybe we saw at any point in the first. Second half keys were brought to you by Pike Pass, Make It Home Safe, Oklahoma. And the Sooner Halftime Show was brought to you by Coca-Cola. Tackle game day with the great taste of Coke Zero Sugar. Is the best Coke ever? Try and decide. First snap, second half. Smith throws it. Swing pass caught out of the backfield by the tight end, York. He carries it from the 25 to the 32. And we've got an injured Sooner. Kip Lewis took a, a friendly fire shot from, I think that's Kanai Walker, that corner up there. He was... Leaning about to make the play. Can I Walker came in, come in and put one right on his chest? He's got to be a little bit quicker on that misdirection boot play. Seeing the crossing route coming uh, behind the line of scrimmage put himself in better position there. Where did it look like he took that shot? It was Ed? right on the like, inside of the shoulder, like yeah. chest shoulder area. Yeah, that right side. He's on his back right now. At the 33-yard line. And it was one of those where he, he, he's got his eyes on the ball carrier. He's about to make the tackle, so he doesn't see it. He's got no time to brace for it at all. And, you know, it that can be the part of your shoulder pad, like the front of that delt area that's not covered by any pads at all sometimes whenever you've got those high-clipped pads. Not much protection in that part of your body guys unfortunate news to report gentry williams has emerged from the locker room in street clothes and he appears to have his right arm in a sling underneath the uh the pullover he's got on so that shoulder that's been giving him trouble for it feels like two years now continues to uh, hinder his ability to get on the field oh i don't like the looks of kip lewis they're helping him off the field here and he just got lit up by his own man. And they're holding his right arm as he walks off the field, and he is in pain. So second and three, Kobe McKenzie in to replace him. It's a handoff and nice. tripped up after a one-yard gain by Kendall Dolby as the ball carrier. It'll be third down and two. That was Sneed on the carry. Boy, when he comes, he is an excellent player at full speed, Kendall Dolby. Able to make those small little corrections and change direction and just clips that ankle there and up ends him where that probably would have been a, a conversion there in the first down. Houston 2 of 7 on third downs tonight. Sooners lead the game 14 to 6. First possession, second half. Man in motion, snap, Smith. Handoff Sneed. Veers right, got the first down across the 35, spins his way out to the 40. Found just enough of a crease to squeeze through the right side of that OU defensive line for a run of eight. And Stutzman got pulled out of his gap there. There was a crosser that, that came late. I think it messed with his vision and bumped him out of his gap. There, will squirt that out of there for a first down. First and 10, Houston. They have outgained OU tonight now, 172 to 139. That is a stunner. Smith, deep shot near sideline and intercepted by Woody Washington, and a flag is down. No way. What a play by Woody, but is he going to be called for a PI here? One on one with Man Jack. I a think one handed interception. One -handed, yeah. They, they both had both hands on each other. Woody had his head around, which is normally the number one thing you're looking for. Here's the call. Pass interference. Defense number five. 15 There's no way pass interference. I'm sorry. That's a tough call. Well, that takes away a turnover. He's in perfect position. And he's allowed to defend the player, and he's in perfect position. Looking at the ball, uh, great coverage, great interception, horrible on call. The 44 in Sooner territory, just the second penalty on OU tonight. 
Houston closed the first half with a field goal there and scoring. March again, deep shot, far side, man, wide open, caught at the 10, touchdown. Man Jack, Man Jack in a busted coverage. Touchdown, the first given up by the OU defense this season. And Houston within two. Total busted coverage here. I don't know what happened. The, the secondary was messed up. I saw Kendall Doby and Bowman trying to have a conversation out there about how they were going to adjust to whatever it was, and they didn't get it right. Someone on the other side, it was a total bust. I don't know who was supposed to be over the top of that, but the corner was expecting to have a safety deep, and there was no one home. Houston going to try to tie it here. They're going to go for two from the three-yard line. They put the ball on the left hash. Sneed the back three wides. Sneed now goes in motion. The running back, Smith, looks right, wants to throw, lobs end zone, overthrew his man. Closer to the ponies than his receiver, incomplete. So Oklahoma maintains the lead, but it's down to two. 14-12 with 13-15 to go third quarter. We got a game here in Norman on a Saturday night. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Coca-Cola. Crisp, refreshing, and irresistibly tasty. Is Coke Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Try and decide. This is Sooner Football. Game, but we need to get that run game going. And, in fact, we're keeping an eye on some injuries. Obviously, still waiting to get some good news, hopefully, on Kip Lewis. And Gabe pointed this out. Peyton Bowen kind of struggling moving around. We'll see if he's going to be able to get back out there for the Sooners in that next series. It is Sam Franklin deep to receive this kickoff. There's the boot. It's high and short. It's returnable. Franklin up, and now a fair catch called for by Bauer Sharp at the 14 or 15-yard line. So the Sooners will start there. Was I worried about the, yeah, that, was, that was dangerous territory right there. Usually, if, if you have to go backwards at all as one of those guys, it's it's not your ball. But Fair catch called for inside good. the 25, and you get the ball at the 25. So that's where the Sooners will start. All right, they need to go on a drive here. This game's getting uncomfortable. Howland at left tackle, Tarquin at right tackle. Same lineup we saw to finish the first half. Four wides, the back is Barnes. Sooners left to right, third quarter, pitch, Barnes, right side, hit at the 25, dives forward to the 27, he got two. The yeah, corner comes up and makes that play, we got to win with that block as, at the wide receiver position, get more on that guy, we're beat, we'll get our running back cut down. Sharp tied in to right, three wides, snap to Arnold. Quick throw out. That's caught by Burks. Makes two guys miss. Then got the first down. Then got hit. Wait, I think he hurt two Cougars. They went flying by and they crashed into each other. And they're both still on the turf. Oh, Timeout for an injured player. I Keith Cooper and former Sooner Latrell McCutcheon both injured as Deion Burks completely evaporated in front of them. Boy, McCutcheon just cut the other. Who, who was it? Was you say it was Cooper coming Cooper, across? yes. Just Defense cut defense. him in half whenever Burks just, as you said, evaporated in front of him. And Cooper wasn't expecting it at all. And he just went low right into the lower leg. It did not look good. That looked like it really hurt. And yeah. they're concerned about this injury because the entire Houston team is out on the field right now. I mean, it looked like... His leg didn't get caught, but McCutcheon that, is up. Yeah, yeah, McCutcheon appears to be fine, but that leg was, you could, I mean, that looked bad, Ted. McCutcheon knew it was bad, too. You could Whenever he first went to the ground, even though he was in pain, the first thing he did was look back. To see. I don't know if he it, knew who not, he hit it's or not what. It's Cooper, it's Halsey that's hurt. Yeah, I thought it was... It was two, correct? Safety. Two, not five. Well, yeah. He's up and... They're looking at his lower left leg. It was a first down, by the way. He, the good thing was his foot didn't get caught. He's it would have been up. Yeah. catastrophic That's if it good. got caught. Well, they saw some of the quickness... Oh, Deion Burks right there. And number one, it's good to see Deion back on the field. Remember last time we saw him 
we were worried about his shoulder. And he's back out there. So first down at the 35 as Holsey's been helped up. Sooner Nation, OU Soccer is hosting the first home SEC conference game against the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Thursday, September 17 at 7 p.m. Special guest appearances, post-game fireworks, and more in store as we begin a new era. Get your tickets at Soonersports.com slash tickets. From the 35, jet sweep pitch, Burks trying to get to the corner. He's got it, 35 to the 40, out of bounds there. Flag down. I think they grabbed you by the face mask. Oh, they're going to get sharp for a hold. They're going to get Bauer sharp, maybe. It's a five-yard gain on the jet sweep. And they're backing him up. Boy, it's just... Holding. Holding. Offense number 10. 10-yard ten penalty enforced from the spot of the foul. First down. Those plays could be really tough out on the perimeter when you don't know where the, the ball carrier is going to go inside or outside of you and just held on a little too long there. But, boy, whenever Burks has the ball, all it takes is a, just a little half stutter to get someone to slow down, and he's going to gain the corner on you. It's a spot foul, so they move it back to the 28. That makes it first and 17 from there. Javante Barnes goes in motion. They throw him a swing pass on the edge. He's got room. Nice. 30, 35, and out of bounds around the 36-yard line. Got a good chunk of it. Oh, they say he stepped out back at the 35, so he got seven. Nice. You know, gets it, gets going downhill. Nice little shoulder fake there and gets the, the nice game. Second and ten. Trips to the right, one to the left. Reagan's in the game, a high side, no, low side of the field. Arnold back to pass across the middle, caught. That'll be a first down by Jake Roberts. Caught about a seven-yard pass that turned and rumbled forward for another five or six to the 47. He just goes and hooks up over the ball, and the linebacker covering him slips. Little collision there. Maybe, maybe a little push off. No. Maybe a little, you we know. Call, that's called being physical at the top of your route. And I like you know it. That. You know, just hook up, connect with him, and turn around, get up, filled. Nicely First done. brought to you by Paycom. Second catch tonight for Jake Roberts. First down snap. It's a handoff to Barnes. Runs into a pile. Keeps his legs turning, but there's no yards to be gained. It'll be second and ten. Any yardage tonight, or most of the yardage tonight by the running backs, Ted, feels like it's coming on the perimeter and not up the middle. Yeah, it does. And, you know, I'm curious. I'd like to see him get back to that, that two-back set. You could just get so creative out of it, and I, it helps us attack the outside. Second and ten, Arnold flings it out again. Barnes caught nice. it. 45 wrapped up there. First guy to him made a nice tackle. It'll be a one-yard loss. It was Hershey McLaurin, the former Mountaineer. Third and 11 upcoming. Tatum checks in, and I thought that was a fine job by Barnes there. He caught it, made a nice cut back inside, but a good play there on, on the on the outside by the defender. Ted with Tatum in, I wouldn't be surprised if Houston tests him in pass protection. They yeah. have quite a bit of pressure in some of these situations. Sooners just two of seven on third downs. They're going to run it with Arnold up the middle to the 50. He's got room 45, and he's got the first down out of bounds at the Houston 41. On third and 11, they call the quarterback's number, and he runs it into Cougar territory. I like that, and they blocked that little X stun on the inside, and were able to gain alignment up to the next level. Jackson Arnold picked it up. It didn't take a shot. Was able to step out of bounds. 14-yard scamper. 10.05 to go third quarter. 14-12 our score OU. Arnold, play action. Looks deep. Flings it for the end zone. And it's poorly thrown and intercepted at the five-yard line. Burks was the receiver in the area. But it was well underthrown and picked off by Jeremiah Wilson. First interception thrown this season by Jackson Arnold. Boy, this is the same play that they hit Vernon Thompson on in the first half. This time he throws it over the top to Burks. And you know, I, I don't know what happened there. Burks, not that he gave up on it, but was in no position to make that play. Timeout on the field. Houston has the ball back down. Well, uh, boys, 14-12 Sooners. 9.53 to go third quarter. They have just given up their first touchdown of the year and thrown their first interception of the year. Houston's got the football back. Just curious throw there by Jackson Arnold. I mean, 
There's things that you could say about his play up to this point, but he has been accurate with the football, and I, I just I don't know where he was going with that one. Just seemed like he underthrew it. I, I mean, I don't think it's more complicated than that. Donovan Smith under center on first down from his own seven. Sanford, the running back for this first snap of the drive. It's a handoff. Sanford, hole up the middle, breaks the 10 out near the 15. Tack tackled by Omasigo, but it's a first down run of eight. Yeah, Kanick in there with Stutzman, and Stutzman goes up and fits, and Kanick is... Uh, Goes out of his gap there. I think he maybe was going to go over the top of Stutzman, but vacated that area, and the running back found it. Dominic Williams and Jaden Jackson check back in here on second and two. Canick showing pressure in the A-gap. Smith, quick throw. Caught behind the line of scrimmage by Muse. Played well, but he got enough for the first. Boy, Barry Bowman. Somehow plays both sides of the guy that's blocking him before he even gets there. Just incredible athleticism to grab that ankle and make the tackle. Got just enough inches more than he needed. First and ten just across the 17 for Houston. Houston's doing a good job with their play calling here. They're mixing it up quite a bit. Run, pass, get the ball out of Donovan Smith's hands quickly. Trips right, one left, pistol formation. Now Sanford moves to the right of Smith. Shotgun snap, handoff. Sanford gets away from R. Mason Thomas, veers right, gobbles up four or five yards before he's tackled by Kanick at the 22. Kanick comes in, nice physical tackle there. Second and five, Houston 230 total yards. 64 on the ground. Sooners just 183 yards of offense tonight. Houston in that slow pace offense right now. Second and five. Smith going to hand it off again. Sanford popped at the 25-yard line and stood up at the 26. That is a yard shy of the marker to gain. It'll be third and one. Ted, Houston starting to find some movement on those interior combinations in the run game. They are, and we're just we're too slow to come down and attack those gaps. They're staying on those double teams really long before the backers show up, and, they're, and they have to come off to try and get up to them and block them. We've got to start coming downhill. The big back, Jamari and Burnett, checks in, six foot one. Third and one, man in motion, left to right, Muse, handoff Burnett, veers right, nice. upended, it'll depend on the spot. Look short. Defended the... well. Billy Bowman came up to make the stop right at the 27. Looks like they're going to go. There it's fourth down, and Houston's over the ball on fourth and short, and now whistles. Are we not going to measure this? I mean, it's really close. The official that came in from the Houston sideline was pretty definitively short as, as he was running on the field. I saw the angle he took. They're going for it, aren't they? Yeah. They're not going to measure it. It's fourth and half a yard from their own 27. Remember, Bob Stoops sat here and said, yeah. this guy plays the analytics. Smith under center. Snap, quarterback sneak, right side. Didn't get much, but did he get enough? It looks I like, think he got yeah. just enough. That last little surge there. Took it out to the side. Look, you know, kind of faked that he was going to go traditional quarterback sneak and then dipped back and took it around the corner there to find a little soft spot in the in the defense. And it is a first down. He needed half a yard and got one yard. So the drive continues for Houston. Need back in a running back as they line up in a pistol. 14-12, Sooners lead it. Been a weird game tonight. Houston trying to take the lead. Smith turns around and tells his running back something. Now he's got the football. He's going to hand it to him. Sneed hammered by Danny Stutzman. Now he got away, and he's chased down by Omasigo. It's a big loss. Back to the 23, five-yard loss. Oh, man, I don't know. I think Stutzman just wanted Omasigo to get a nice tackle for loss there. He's had enough produ production on the night. I don't know how the back got out of that one, but... He released. It was a catch and release. Yeah. It, it's, it's almost like Stutzman thought they were going to blow it dead. And, oh, that was really strange. It's like, 
Maybe Donnie didn't have the football. I don't know. That was uh, that was interesting, but a big, big uh, loss for Houston nonetheless. Second and 14 from the 24. Sooner showing pressure with Omasiko. Here he comes. Smith out to the near side, reaching catch of the 28, tackled immediately by Bowman. It's Muse, the Georgia transfer. That gets him back to the original line of scrimmage. Good job by Bowman. Cushion there, long yardage. It's a like a strong comeback route. He's in perfect position to make that tackle as soon as the player tries to turn up field. Just, I'll give Donovan Smith some credit. He's... He's been pretty dang accurate tonight with the football, guys. He He's has. 14 of 15. Good game plan, too. Trips left on third and 10. Compact formation here. Ball's on the left hash. All the receivers are to the short side of the field. Smith, straight drop, looks near side. Hit as he throws, and it is caught. Flag is down. Muse caught it. It's a first down if it stands out to the 39. Let's see what the flag's about. It's on the near sideline, the Sooner sideline. I think it's going to be offensive pass interference. They tried to pick him. I think they're going to get him for it. Yeah, I saw the, the short receiver spotted up. and It's definitely on Houston. Yeah, it's going to be OPI. Head referee, Stephen Pass Stephen interference. Harris. Offense number 14. Passing this is the goal. Third down. So Marquise Shoulders, the Tulsa transfer, called for the offensive pass interference, and that backs it up to around the 14. Man, that is. What do you think about that one, Ted? I'm glad they called it. Me too. <laughs> Agreed. Yes. I mean, both pass interferences, one's gone 4 OU and one against them, have been huge calls this half. Remember, they ran that screen play. This is the same formation. They ran that, that running back screen in the same down and distance in the first half. It is a handoff this time. Sneed runs near side. He sat on after a gain of one at the 15. Oh, and he stuck on Bowman. another Don't tackle. We got some wrestling downfield, and here comes a late flag. Oh, boy. If that's on. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what. I just caught the end of it and saw Bowman in an all-out wrestling match. Flag came after it ended. After OU had already separated after from the After the play, play. unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number 15. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. They were going to have to punt, and instead it's an automatic first down, and they call it on Kendall Dolby. Let's see if we get another look at what happened here. It was fourth in a country mile, and this is just a killer of a penalty. The ball moves to the 30, but it comes with an automatic first down. I have not seen a replay yet. The, the, ball to the, the action was 15 yards downfield. Here's a look. Looks like Dolby's trying to get Billy off of the guy. And then he kind of shouts in his face. Smith back to pass. Stumbles and falls. That'll be a sack. He was under pressure. Grayson Holton going to get credit for the sack. Back at the 19. Big loss. 11-yard loss. Now they immediately put him behind the chains again. Grayson Holton comes through. It's a sack, and he got held in the process. We got we to be a little bit smarter on, on defense here. We had the big bust that cost us the touchdown. And then we've got that little exchange there that un totally unnecessary gives him another opportunity when we're off the field. Third sack for OU tonight. Second and 21. 324 to go third quarter. OU leads at 14-12. Smith looking for the screen, looking right. Sooners have defended it well. He runs, throws late, just throws it into the bench. Nowhere to go with the football. It'll be third and long. Smith just fell down, but he's been active with his feet, getting outside the pocket, and, and trying to create some some scramble drills and get his receivers running around in the secondary. And that one, no one was downfield for him, just had to throw it into the bench. Just his second incompletion tonight. Third and 21. Got to get off the field here. Jenkins the back. 
Sooners bring a blitz. Quick throw. Caught on the perimeter at the 15-yard line by Shoulders. Swims by a guy to the 25. Then it looked like he was tackled by his own man at the 27. But that's 13 yards shy of the first. And now they're going to have to punt. Now a almost 13-minute advantage in time of possession for Houston tonight. Well, just right there, you you allow a, a whole new set of downs and give them more opportunities and keep your offense sitting there on the sideline. How about that? That was a seven-minute drive that never got past the 30-yard line. Fair catch called for by Billy Bowen and taken at the 32. And the Sooners in their own territory take possession with a two-point lead. Timeout. It's fourth quarter, under two minutes to go. Illinois leading Kansas 20-17. to Alabama up 14-13 to on South Florida in the fourth quarter in Tuscaloosa. Almost the same score here. 14-12 Sooners. From their own 33, first snap, handoff Taylor Tatum up the middle, out to the 40-yard line. A good first down run by the freshman. They're going to spot him at the 39 for a gain of six. Well, I think that's the first time we've seen that concept tonight. Uh, good job, good blocking. Both guys coming around pulling, got good good blocks, and Tatum straight downhill. Sooners go tempo, Petaway in motion. Fake the handoff, busted play, and Jackson Arnold has to swallow a sack. I don't know what that was supposed to be, but it's not that. And he's dropped back at the 34. Well, I think he was looking for Tatum on a on a play-action play there. I don't, I don't know what was going on, but ugly. Third and nine. Sooners three of eight on third downs tonight. And a lot of them have been long. Third and nine here from their own 34. Two receivers right. Burks and Reagans. Brendan Thompson left. Tatum the back, snap, straight drop, Arnold looking middle, nowhere to go, flushed right, throws late sidelines, diving attempt by Reagans, did he make the catch? He did not, incomplete, and the Sooners go three and out. Well, it feels like every series we start off and get ourselves behind the chains, we had the hold by Bauer Sharp. There we've got a, 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 a mistake. I don't know wh whose mistake it was, but a busted play gets us back to a third and long. And really difficult conversions whenever you're third and eight or ten on, on a lot of those setups. Very difficult. Any chance they might fake one here to try to cut uh, kickstart things? No. No, the answer is no. El Zinga with the boot. Wobbly. Far side. No fair catch. Taking a 25 and blessed. Woo! Lit up at the 25, Lewis Carter again. What a night, special teams by Lewis Carter. 26-yard line is where Houston will start. 1.14 to go in the third in a two-point game. And I don't know how Muse hung on to the football there. Kip Lewis back on the field, boys. Great sign here. He did not give up. This was eerily similar to the Alamo Bowl where it looked like he might be out. He kept grinding. He was on the bike. He's back. Let's see how effective he can be. The Sooner defense really needs a turnover here. From the 26-yard line, Houston. Man in motion, the tight end. They're going to throw it to him in the flat. 25-yard line, big boy. Flag down, rumbling out of bounds. This is going to be on Houston. That That's was to the hole. tight end car, but Wilson, number four, the wide receiver, Going to be called for a hold. That's a big dude catching the football. 6'6", 265. This was time out for an injured player. Want to let us know what the flag is first? The injured player is a cougar in the Sooner bench Yeah, I think area. it's Stephon Johnson. He went crumbling down over here on the near sideline right in front of the, the Sooners. Robert Holding Fulton and his staff were there. number four, 10-yard penalty enforcement to spun the foul. First down. Sorry, T-Row, but the uh, Sooner athletic training staff was all over it because he crumbled when he came to the sidelines. So it'll be a net five-yard loss with 107 to go third quarter. And Oklahoma leading 14 to 12. Hungry? Head to Brahms after the game for a bacon cheeseburger and a milkshake made with Brahms A2 Fresh Milk. Proud partner of Sooner Athletics. It is Johnson struggling with that left leg, left ankle, trying to get back to the sidelines. He's able to on his own power, but I think the term would be Toby a little hitching his giddy up before he gets over there. Well, 
Dalton. It'll be first and 15 now, Houston. And you got offenses who can't get out of their own way right now, duking it out at a two-point game. And we're getting close to the fourth quarter. Donovan Smith, 16 of 18, passing for 186 yards and one touchdown. The former Red Raider backs his way into the shotgun here. Kip Lewis and Kobe McKenzie, the linebackers. Danny Stutzman not on the field right now. It's a handoff to Sneed. Piled up. The line of scrimmage, and it pushes forward for a couple, maybe just one to the 22. One-yard gain, second and 14. Boy, really good job on the interior by that big defensive line. I don't know who is. Was that Marcus Strong? Terry, I don't know who that was, but really good job on the inside, fighting, scrapping through those double teams. Spotter, Spotter Ship says it's D.J. Terry in that. Second and 14. Could be the final play of the third. It is a handoff. Sanford sweeping right. Flag down. Big hit at the 25. Another big pop. Was that Kip? Well, I think it was Kip and Kobe and, and maybe uh, someone from the secondary. Maybe Robert Spears Jennings got in on it as well. We got three flags on the field. Let's see if it's all for the same infraction. One is... Near the near numbers, the other two are in the middle of the field. Illegal. First foul, chop block, offense number 66 and number 68, 15-yard penalty. Yeah, they... Second down. 66 was engaged on Correction. the backside. Half the distance to the ball. And they cut Jaden Jackson, so 66 has him engaged with his left arm, and 68 goes low on the backside, which the art of cutting on the backside of zone has died in college football for some reason, but the left guard needs to know that 68's cutting him, and you can't extend that arm and put him on it. So that'll back him up to the 11, and Houston's going to let the third quarter clock expire. Four fingers in the air, lights go out, we're headed to the final frame of this one. It's a nail-biter. The entire crowd sings along courtesy of the red, white, and blue. Bob Stoops out on the field to honor a couple of young Oklahomans and to pay tribute to Toby Keith. We'll do this to start the fourth quarter all year. Phone lights illuminate red, white, and blue striping across the billboards here inside Gaylord Family, Oklahoma Memorial Stadium. There's the fireworks. There's the LED on the Sooner Schooner. It's a party, and Gay, probably more of a party than we anticipated as we head to the fourth quarter, 14 to 12, dicey situation. Where have you seen, Gabe, the thing that stood out that's kind of led to the struggles the most for this Oklahoma Sooner offense, that it's not just a second half issue, it's been something all game long? Well, the run game hasn't gotten going the way that I hoped it would tonight. We've seen some flashes, right? We've seen some good stuff from Javante Barnes. But Gavin Sawchuk has been very quiet. Taylor Tatum, other than that run on the last drive on the GT counter, has been very quiet. They just haven't been able to find much space in the running game. And then... Jackson, they've just missed a couple of deep shots that could have been big-time plays in this game. And other than that, we just haven't seen Ted, unless you, you've got a better vantage point up there than I do down here, but I just haven't seen that, that many guys get in the open either. Yeah. Well, and it's execution, too. Drops, penalties, busted plays. It, it feels like it's something new every drive. And we're just not in the in the flow good enough yet to overcome some of those negative plays. And Stewart looks like he's been battling a couple of issues with his lower extremities, but again, the injury tolls continue to mount up on the sidelines for the Sooners. That is an awesome new tradition, by the way. Between the oh, third and fourth, right? The whole place is dark. Everybody's got their phones on, singing Toby Keith. Just awesome. Second and 25, first play, fourth quarter. Little throw caught at the 18-yard line, spinning out to the 20. It's Marquis Shoulders. He got nine. It'll be third down and about 15. Little star route there. Good job. Good tackle. 
protect the deep plays, make them throw underneath. Three of 11 on third downs. Houston has almost doubled the time of possession in this game. Zoomer's trying to get him off the field here. They substitute in Grayson Holt and D.J. Terry to rush the quarterback up the middle. From their own 20, got to get it all the way out to the 36. Smith has it. Straight drop. Looking left. Throws across the middle. It is intercepted. Did he hang on? Robert Spears Jennings. They're trying to unpile. No indication yet. He's got the football. RSJ picks it off at the 35. What a play. They try a little uh, get open route there right over the football, and he reads it, comes diving in there late, makes a great play on the football. That was awesome. Came out of nowhere. Great catch, too. Yeah, Just it was. all hands. Pure. That's pure right there. First career interception for the Broken Arrow High School product, Robert Spears Jennings. And the Sooners are set up at the 32-yard line in Houston Territory. Leading by two. Can the offense pay it off? Reagan's wide right. Burks and Thompson to the left. Bauer sharp tight end left. Barnes the back. Sooners go right to left fourth quarter. Burks in motion. Snap to Arnold. Handoff. Barnes sweeping left. Nowhere to run. Piled up on back at the 33 for a one-yard loss. Tried to go wide there. Too much penetration on the front side. Nowhere to go. And cut himself. I mean, there's there's no really nowhere to cut that ball back whenever you're that wide. And just gave it up on the front side. Second down and 11. Time and time again, the Sooners have either by penalty or poor execution been behind the chains tonight. And they are again here. In motion, Burks left to right. Arnold's got it. Play action, and his pass is knocked down. He had Bauer sharp, wide open in the flat. But Hershey McLaurin knocked it out of the air, and it's third down. They call the blitz right into that little boot play that we've got called up. It was the perfect play call defensively, and he's on Jackson Arnold before he has time to see him and, and elevate the throw over the top. It's a good it's play. A, it's a big gainer if he gets it over him, yep. but he couldn't. Third and 11, potential four-down territory here. Keep that in mind. Four wide receivers with Barnes in the backfield. Arnold, palm to the ground, looks back to the sidelines, now backs into the shotgun. 13-33 to play. Arnold will run it himself. Right side, pushes the pile to the 30. Still on his feet to the 28. Still churning down near the 27. They're going to spot him at the 28. He got five. Crowd boos, but... I think they knew they were going for it on fourth down, or at least they put themselves in long field goal range here, and that's what they'll do as Tyler Keltner is onto the field for a long field goal try. I mean, I think that tells you what, what they feel right now about their ability to execute. They just knew they had to do something to wedge it up there and be able to, to have an opportunity at points. It's a 45-yard try. Keltner, the Florida State transfer, three for three last week. Snap back, hold down, kick is away, plenty of distance, and it is no good. He hooked it wide left, the first miss of the season. And an evening of woes continues. Houston gets the stop after the interception in their own territory. And with 12.41 to go, the score remains Sooners 14, Cougars 12. And Lincoln and Illinois has defeated Kansas tonight 23-17 at final. Here it's 14-12 OU in the fourth. Houston from their own 28, Pistol, Smith. It is a handoff left side, Jenkins, and just nothing all night in the run game for Houston. They got about one. Jaden Jackson, another really good job there, just fighting. Good low pad level, holding point, knocking the line of scrimmage backwards. Excellent. Second and eight and a half for nine. 12.20 to go. A field goal would give Houston the lead. Sooners have not scored in the second half. Out of the shotgun. Smith going to throw. Fakes the quick throw. Now he does throw it out in the flat. Wide open as Williams races forward near the first down marker. He's short by about a yard out to the 37. 
point. They got two to get one here. You know they're going to go for it. Third and one from the 37. Quickly over the football. Houston wants a little tempo action here. Now Smith is going to instead look back at the sidelines. Defense came up with a big play on the last possession. Now oh, quarterback wow. sneak, a trick play quarterback sneak. Smith was looking back at the sidelines, as were his teammates, and they snapped it, and he carried it forward to the 40. Smart play. Good execution. Good job by Donovan Smith selling it like he's just checking to the offensive line, and they go quick. I'll give Stutzman a lot of credit. He was right up in there like Stutzman did not relax at all. Yep. He That's delivered a shot on him. Stutzman. Grayson Holt checks in. First and 10 Houston from their own 40. 11 minutes to go. Bunch trips left, one right. Man in motion now left to right. Smith has it. Play action. Throws it into the flat. Caught behind the line of scrimmage by Johnson. He's able to get to the corner and dance upfield. He got all the way to midfield. That looked like it was going to be a loss, and it ends up being an 11-yard gain into Sooner territory. Another good play design. Hide him on the backside, come across the formation, use that speed to get around the corner. First to 10, Houston at the OU 49. What a night for Donovan Smith. Now 19 of 22. He was 15 of 30 against UNLV last weekend. Smith has another play action. Quick throw. That's caught. That's Johnson over the right side. Shorter gain this time, but he takes it to the 43. Got six. Quick, efficient. Get the ball out of his hand. 20th completion of the night. Second down and three. Long three. We're under 10 minutes to play. 14-12 Oklahoma leads it. Sanford moves behind Smith into a pistol. Smith hands to Sanford, runs right, bounces it outside, taken off his pens. Good tackle. Robert Spears Jennings. That is a, a no gain at best. Maybe a loss of a half a yard. 43 is where they'll put it down. Boy, really good penetration on the front side. I think it was our Mason Thomas on a little stunt to the inside, a little rip stunt, and then gets back vertical upfield and knocks all the offensive linemen off, clean things up. Third and four, definitely four down territory here. Crowd trying to help. And now a Cougar falls to the ground. An offensive lineman, David and Duque, fell down injured. I mean, that was really strange. Yeah. And we'll take a timeout with 9.08 to go. No. Well, Nervous feeling in the pit of about 85,000 stomachs in Norman tonight and a lot more around the world watching. Sooners lead it by two. But should it mean the Sooners should have their antennas up here? I don't know. Dakota White enters number 68 at left tackle. He doesn't look like a guy they would try to throw it to, but you never know. 6-4-3-15, Dakota White. Third and four from the OU 43 in a two-point game. 9.08 to go. Houston trying to pull off a massive upset. In motion goes Muse. Snap, Smith, handoff, running right, no gain again. Run game, nothing doing. This time it's Kip Lewis up to make the tackle at the line of scrimmage. Fourth and four, what are you going to do now, Willie Fritz? With the way that their defense is played. I agree. I'd, I'd be shocked if they didn't go for it. They're going for it. One for one on fourth downs tonight. Big play, obviously, from the 43. Got to get to the 39. Three wides and a tight end. The back is Sanford. Smith walks up to his center. Five to snap it. Now backs into the gun. Still looking to the sidelines with three. With one. And now we're going to take a delay of game. I didn't see a timeout. Yeah, I, this is kind of what I was alluding to, Ted. Offense, five-yard penalty. They're going to punt. With how well they've played on defense and with OU's offense struggling to find any rhythm, 
you probably feel good about punting it deep. And more to gain by... More to gain, nothing. you know what I'm saying? More yeah. to gain. Don't make the OU's offense earn it as opposed to giving it to them possibly at midfield. That's kind of what my line of thinking was, and I'm guessing Willie Fritz is thinking the same way I am. So they back him up five to make it fourth and nine. Billy Bowman stands inside his own 10-yard line. The punter is Liam Doherty, an Australian. Shocker. There's the snap back. Doherty got it away. Short punt, near side. Bowman, fair catch. Backing up, and he hung on. Oh, that was hairy. He hung on at the eight. They're going to give him the 10. He overran it and then had to backpedal and made an over-the-shoulder catch. And the Sooners will start at the 10. Whew. 7.57 to go. I don't know about you guys, but the punt return situation's been a little too eventful for me tonight. Yeah. Boy, it's uh, every single one of them's been way more dramatic than it needs to be. Now well, here we go. Two-point game in the fourth. Sooners have gotten the ball back. Big stop there. Can the offense maintain it? We need to be much better on first down than we've been for the big majority of this football game. Sawchuck in it running back. Double tight ends right. Now sharp in motion to the left. There's the snap. Hand off Sawchuck. Crosses the 10, pushing the pile to the 11. They'll give him the 12. Pile still moving. See where they spotted. He might have got three out of that. That looked like a rugby scrum. It'll be second down. Reagans and Barnes checking into the game. Sawchuck exits. Sawchuck just looks, I don't know, guys, hesitant. I don't know if yeah. he's dealing with something. He just doesn't seem to have much explosion. Jackson Arnold, 15 of 26 passing tonight. Can he make a big throw? Man in motion, sharp. Arnold's got it. Going to throw. Looks right. Lobs it deep down the right side for Reagans. Over three him out of bounds. Incomplete. Was not open. It'll be third down. Set. That's where we need the, some of the mid-range passing game. It's, you know, we've kind of gotten back to where we're, everything's at the line of scrimmage or we're throwing go balls. Sooners third down and a big one. 7-10 to go. Third and seven and a half here. They go with a four wide receiver set. Arnold back to pass. Three-man rush. Steps up. Throws late across the middle. Caught by Burks. I think he's got the first down. He does. Just across the 20 to the 21. Needed seven. Got eight. Move the chains. There we go. Good job. Arnold stepping up there. Finding him right over the football. Good job by Deion Burks. Hanging on to it. And Trying to get some positive yardage there. Seventh catch for Dion tonight. Felt like a collective sigh of relief yeah. from this entire crowd. First down's brought to you by Paycom. Score big by empowering employees to do their own payroll. Learn more at Paycom.com. From the 21, 6.33 to play. Arnold to throw. Quick caught by Burks at the 25. Can't get away. Four-yard gain on first down. Eighth catch tonight for Dion. Well, he Webbed got, the tackle. He got spun around and then just leapfrogged forward for a couple of yards there. I'm perfectly fine with them giving him the ball on every play the rest of the night. Strong agreement. Our third. 6.05 to play. Second and six. Here's where we need to just pour it inside and give ourselves a third and manageable. Barnes the back. They're going to play action. Arnold rolls right. Throws across the middle and incomplete. Looking for Brennan Thompson. Jackson threw back across his body out to the 35, and Thompson couldn't hang on. Third down. Deion Burks got blown up in the flat on that play. Just a little bit behind Thompson there. Would have been a really tough catch. Reagans, Burks. And Bauer to the high side of the field. Thompson to the low. Third down. Back to pass Arnold. Looks right. Quick throw. Slant pattern. Caught at the 30. It's Burks again. But it's going to be a yard shy. Ninth catch for Deion Burks tonight. Will bring up fourth and one. And from their own 30, the Sooners are going to have to kick it here, you would assume. You would assume. The offense for now is staying on the field, though. 
5.30 to play. Surely they're going to try to get a, a jump. Or at least let the clock run down. Play clock at 15. The offense is staying on the field on fourth and one from the 30. Surely not. In the shotgun. Seven to snap it. In motion, Barnes. Play action, and they oh, jumped. Wow. There's the snap. Free play. Arnold, deep shot, far sidelines. It is intercepted. Won't matter. They got the first down on the offsides. Wow. Hard Side. count by Arnold, Defense and it works. Five-yard penalty results in the first down. 4.59 to go. It was Brandon Mack, the Ole Miss transfer, that jumped off sides. Well, the confusion in the backfield by Barnes, I think, helped sell it even more. He almost motioned the wrong way. Yeah. I, I thought... The offsides in the Arkansas-Oklahoma State game or there was the dumbest offsides I've ever seen. <laughs> I was wrong. Eight, that one. Eighth penalty for Houston. First down snap. Arnold will run it himself. Right side there to 35 go. to the 40. Good yardage out to the 41. Six yards. First down. Jackson Arnold with his feet. Down to 436 to go. Well, nobody came into tonight in a... Crimson and green the runner was down. uniformer loose. Second down. wearing a sweatshirt thinking that a two-point win would be fine. But at this point, we'll take it. A near 30-point favorite. Oklahoma is in an absolute dogfight or maybe a cat fight with the Cougars of Houston. Second down and four from the 41. They picked up two huge first down so far on this drive. Thompson in motion. Handoff Barnes up the middle. Ooh. Crashes away eight to the 45. Let's see where they mark it. Mark. They're going to give him the first downs. Third first down on this drive. And we're under four minutes to go. That safety came up to try and make a play and lost his footing a little bit and absolutely paid for it from Barnes. Drive started on the 10. Ninth play of the drive upcoming. They've taken it 35 yards and picked up three first downs. Houston has all three timeouts remaining. Double tight ends left. Man in motion. Snap. Arnold handoff. Barnes veers left. Stood up by a Cougar at the 46 and pushed back. It's a gain of one. Tackled by Michael Batten, the linebacker. Here comes Sawchuck back in. 3.15 to go. If they can get one more first down, then Fritz has to start calling his timeouts. Yeah, I, I'm thinking maybe they'll go back to the quarterback run here. They've had quite a bit of success with it. And you could just tell that they don't feel very comfortable with the execution level of some of the other stuff. And line up and empty. Yeah, five wide. I don't think we've seen this tonight. Houston showing pressure. Burks in motion right to left. Snap. They're going to run it with Jackson Arnold, and he's wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. He faked the handoff to Burks, kept it. It'll be third down and long, and we're down to 2.35 to go. Still got that two-minute timeout. Going to stop the clock. I would think you can't quite. You're going to have to snap it at 2.01 here. You can't quite take it all the way to the two-minute timeout. 202 if you take it all the way down. Back to pass on third and nine. Arnold. Mm. Good blitz pickup, but still nowhere to go, and he's sacked. Wrapped up back at the 44. Boy, Barnes did his part, but nowhere Jackson Arnold couldn't find an escape hatch. And there was nowhere to go with the football, as I saw it from up here. Two minutes out. No one had they were man-to-man -man coverage, and everyone was sucked up tight on their man. Nowhere, nowhere for him to go with it. And with that blitz. It was a great pickup by Barnes, but doesn't leave him much space to maneuver and try and get outside the pocket. Well, field position-wise, the Sooners helped themselves out, but they're going to have to give the ball back to Houston with all three timeouts and a chance to go win the football game. This fourth quarter down on the defensive side, guys, they want this moment to try to seal this deal for Oklahoma here tonight. Luke Elzinga to kick it. Makai Muse deep to receive. Snap back. There's the boot. 
High, wobbly, short. It's going to bounce at the 20. Takes a sooner bounce to the 15. Onto the 10. Inside the 10. Rolling down to the 7. To the 6. To the 5-yard line. Another beautiful punt by Luke Elzinga. There's one of your stars of the game tonight if OU is able to hang on to this thing. And Houston, if they're going to win it, they're going to have to start at their own 5-yard line. Boy, that was... Uh, when he first hit it, I, I thought it was a bad kick, and it hit the ground and rolled out for us. Helped us out a ton on that one. 51-yard punt. 148. Houston has all three timeouts. They go left to right, backs to the north end zone. Sooner fans at this end of the field trying to help out the defense right now. Sneed the back. On the goal line, Donovan Smith takes the shotgun snap, hands to Steed, bit at the goal line, dropped to the end zone, it is a safety! It's a safety! Grayson Holton! Wow! He met the ball carrier, Stacy Steed, when he caught it, then twisted him down in the end zone. Let's see if they look at this again. It was, it was right there on the goal line, but great penetration. And oh, I don't know. He, I think I don't even first, know how you rule that. I think when he first hit him, the ball was between the goal line and the one. Timeout on the field. There's been no indication yet that they're going to look the at this. It's a safety. The previous play is under further review. Now well, there you go. We'll take a timeout. It's either two points for OU and they're going to get the ball back, or Houston's going to have it at the half yard line. 1.42 to go. Break on the field. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Coca-Cola. We're in a McIntyre Law Review. Green. Stands. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Wow. Wow. Hey. Wow. Shout out, shout out to the official. He looks at me, looks me right in the eyes and go, stands. <laughs> A safety for Grayson Holt makes it 16-12. Now, question. Anybody know the rule on this? Can you onside kick a free kick? Because Houston's going to have to free kick it back to OU. I don't know that I've ever seen it. Is it allowed? Uh, well, they've got three timeouts. Oh, I know. Yes. I know. No, it's a great question, and I will be the first to tell you. I do not know. I do not know the answer to Has that Has anybody question. ever well, seen after a safety a team onside kick? You can't if you punt it, but if you... If you put it on the if tee? If you put it on the on the tee, then if it goes 10 yards, the ball's live, right? right? I, I mean, I, would I think don't think so. I've yeah. never heard of but you not being able to do it, but I've... But the other part of, his, of it is you earned the possession, so... I, well, it looks like the Sooners, they are a hands team. Yeah, that's their hands team, so that answers our question. Well, there you go. They know the rules, at least. That's good. Billy Bowman, the only Sooner deep. So the kickoff here, the free kick is from the 20. Now, he's holding it like he's punting Is it. that the punter, Doherty? It is the punter, Doherty. So this is going to be a punt, it looks like, unless they got something squirrely. Now, he can blast this ball straight up in the air and... There's no T on the field. Here we go. Doherty. He punts it. High driving, far sideline. Bowman, fair catch called for. Backing to the 25. Falls down. Sooners have the ball back. Four-point lead. 142 to go. Houston, three timeouts. Now, now I know why they punted it. Another dramatic catch by Bowman back there. You need at least one first down, maybe two. It'll be Javante Barnes at running back. Bauer Sharp goes wide right with Dion Burks. Brennan Thompson to the near side. Ball on the right hash. In motion, Sharp, snap, Arnold, handoff Barnes, right side. Met in the hole and planted backwards. He got two, and Willie Fritz jumps out in front of the side judge to call a timeout. His first two-yard game. Houston has called their first timeout of the half. 30-second timeout. Timer, please reset the game. Carlos Allen. One, three, eight. The tackle. He's had a nice night. Six. Oklahoma, two, 19. Which, you know, 
you've got an awesome defensive performance by Oklahoma outside of the busted play, which how far how how much did that one go for the touchdown? Forty four. You know, forty four of that is on a busted play, which goes to show like how thin the margin of error is for us right now and Houston kind of spotted us a touchdown to start the football game. Second and eight, timeouts over, two remaining. Three tight ends set now. Sharp, Roberts, and Helms all on the field. Snap, play action, going to throw, lob across the middle, caught Roberts behind the defense, 45, midfield, what a call! And he rumbles into Houston territory. That's the play they ran for a touchdown in the first half, and they shot the Cougars. Well, that was a really nice play call, and what a, a, catch. a pretty gutsy play call where execution has been poor all night if that ball hits the ground there's gonna be some angry people around here for stopping the clock but a great catch to be able to, to convert that play that was a nice job and a nice throw by jackson arnold offensive line got split guy right in his face delivers a nice throw to roberts 28 yards clock runs saving the timeouts we're down to a minute to go arnold takes the football Hands it off this time. Up the middle goes Barnes, securing it. Got three, and now Fritz will use his second timeout. They're going to spot the ball at the 43, so it's a two-yard gain. Let's pause quickly. Ten seconds for station ID. Lynn and Teddy Lehman back with you up in the booth. Chris Plank and Gabe Iker down on the sidelines. In the NCAA tournament, you'd call it survive and advance. Oklahoma trying to do that tonight on their home field in a... Much closer than anticipated showdown against the Houston Cougars out of the Big 12 Conference. Sooners lead at 16 to 12 with 57 seconds to go. One more first down would seal the win. Willie Fritz can only stop it one more time. OU has it second and eight on the Houston 43. Sooners come out in 13 personnel, three tight ends on the field. Barnes on the right hip of Arnold. Snap. Handoff, Barnes pushes into the pile at the 40, pulled back from there. He got three, and now Willie Fritz will use his final timeout. It'll be third down and five. Houston has called their third and final timeout of the half. 30-second timeout. 52 seconds. Run a play here. Say it takes seven seconds or so. That gets it to 45. Fritz can't stop it. Oklahoma's going to get really close to being able to run this thing out. Yeah. I mean, at a minimum, you if you if you have to, you can maybe run the fourth down play where you protect the quarterback and he throws a, a sky ball to run the, the clock down to zero if you're that close. Let's just get the first down and not have to worry about it. Agree. That. Third down at five. And they're going to line up in victory formation here. Feels like they've done the math and feel like they can run it out. Under center, Jackson Arnold backs up a couple of steps. Now takes a knee right before getting hit. 47 seconds. They reset the clock. There's still eight seconds between play clock and game clock. Now we got some pushing and shoving going on. Bates just took his helmet off. Oh my Flag God. down. You've got to be. You. And this stops the clock with 35 seconds. Well, one of the problems tonight has been a couple of those lack of discipline moments. You saw it on uh, Kendall Dolby got called for the unsportsmanlike conduct when Houston was going to have to punt. Gave them an automatic first down. Is this another here? After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, offense number 64. There will be no 10-second runoff on this play. 15-yard penalty, fourth down. Fourth down. When does the clock start? Right now, there's 25 on the play clock, 35 on the game clock. This is going to back the ball back into Sooner territory. You would think the Sooners, regardless, are going to have to punt here. And here comes Elzinga. They put the ball at the OU 42. And the, let's see if they're going to wind the clock or it's going to start on the snap. It's going to start on the snap. So yeah, it's a personal foul. I mean, Houston's going to get some time here. Just a horrible, horrible mistake. 
Snap back to Elzinga. Got to get it away, and he does. High hanger, near sideline, Muse. Fair catch called for inside the 15, taken at the 13 with 29 seconds. Well, the beauty of the safety is they need a touchdown now. I'm sorry, Toby. I'm in stunned silence by what I just witnessed. I have no idea. Was it Bates? Is that who it was? Yeah. Josh Bates. I, I have no idea how how that happens. They need a touchdown, and they got to go 87 yards to get it in 29 seconds with no timeouts. Trips right, one left. Donovan Smith's had a big night. He's 20 of 23. There's the snap. Straight drop. Flushed right. Throws late. Threw it away into the Sooner bench, into the crowd. 23 seconds to go. Good job there. Just to, Mason Thomas, the pressure. Yeah, getting really good pressure with a light rush and running some twist games up front. And Donovan Smith tries to escape to the outside. It was a good, smart rush by, you know, not taking an inside move, making sure you corral the quarterback. Sooner showing pressure. They bring five up the middle. Quick throw. Smith to the sideline. Caught out of bounds. Shy of the 20. It's Muse. 19 seconds to go. He got about five. And they need some chunks. They need big chunks. They've got maybe three plays left. Maybe. I, I don't mind the bringing some pressure and putting the... But don't let Donovan Smith sit back there comfortable and, and let his receivers run around. Third down and five. Long five. Smith has it. Four-man rush. Quick throw again. That's caught at the 22 and out of bounds. I mean, this is kind of useless right here. Four-yard gain. 14 seconds to go. It's going to be fourth down. Again, they need a touchdown, and now they're 78 yards away from the end zone. They just, they're trying to get it to midfield area to where they can have a final heave for the end zone. Weather. 28 yards from midfield. Yep. Fourth and one, an incompletion here ends it. Smith has it. Looking to throw. Steps up now, flush left. Going to have to lob it downfield. It is caught. Diving catch to the ground. No timeouts. Clock will stop at the 36-yard line. Seven seconds to go. It'll restart once the ball is spotted. Could be the final play of the game here. Seven seconds from their own 36. Clock stops. Starts. Smith back to pass. Flushed right. This will be the last play. Looking. Throws short. Caught at the 45. Up to midfield, slips, caught from behind, balls loose, kicked around, picked up by a Cougar, tackled from behind, whistles blow, you can unhitch the wagon, thank God let's get out of town, put the ponies in the barn and we might all go there as well. The, the ruling on the field is the runner was down prior to the ball coming loose. The game is over. The game is over, and the final score is Oklahoma 16 and Houston 12, and the Sooners move to 2-0. Well, we've got a long postgame show and a lot to talk about. An ugly night on Owen Field, but it ends with a victory. 16-12, Oklahoma. I'm just making sure that we're not going to look at something. Houston's, it looks like the, they're trying to act like they they're get, trying to get their players back onto the sideline. Like and the officials are leaving the yeah. field. Houston is calling their team back to the sideline, but the officials are running into the locker room. Coach Venables is getting ready to do his ESPN post-game interview. All the coaches and players are gone. And yeah, the referees are bro hugging. I think this game is over. They're, if it's not, they're going to have to go get the referees and bring them back out. Houston's all standing on their sidelines. 
Well, Willie Fritz is yelling at his guys to get him back on the sideline. Guys, Brent Venables is now, he's motioning for all the Sooner players to head back to their sideline as well, too. Oh so this is they're bizarre. Gonna, they're going to push everyone back. And I mean, Willie Fritz came out and forcibly grabbed one of his guys. It's like, stop, let's go get back to the sideline. Well, no so. referees. And now we got a whole bunch of like kids and families and everybody on the field, mascots. And how do you feel about that, Ted? You know how I feel about it. <laughs> the, the, the teams are still out here. OU's gone back to their sideline, Houston back to their sideline, but we have no referees. I mean, the fans have left. Brent Venables has gone across. I'm watching him talk to Willie Fritz right now. He's saying, listen, the refs have left. I, I haven't seen anything like this. Well, Never seen this before. Back to the play, you know, they... They ruled the player down, and the play never finished. There's no time left on the clock. Like, I don't even know what they expect the call to be. There's no time it left may, on the clock. Yeah, uh, it's, it's zero. Right. Did you guys see a replay? Oklahoma's no. starting to walk back and try to shake hands yeah. again. And I, I, I just, Willie Fritz is just standing here at about the 50-yard line. I'm with you. I don't know what he could pot unless he thinks there's a penalty that should give him one more snap. And now it looks like he's resigned himself. He, he gave the uh, handshake and the hug to Brent Venables. I feel like he has admitted that he's in checkmate here, t -Row. Huh. All right. Well, <laughs> the game's over. I I'm going to take my headset off now. <laughs> okay. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe. All right. All right. Uh, Let's post, go do post game. Post game show is next, question mark. 16-12, the final Sooners win it. We think. We're pretty sure. We'll be back. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Coca-Cola. This is Sooner Football from Learfield.